Hello, everybody. This is Mike, also known as Win5, Get One Free, and we are back with episode one, our second episode, counterintuitively, of New Amsterdam, our cyberpunk red game set in a custom city. Now, between this session and last, I've given the players a large amount of insight into what they know about the players of the city. So at any point, some of them might make some references to that. We will try to elaborate when we catch it for the player's benefit. But, where we last left off, everybody, so everybody met up in, well, you know what? I'm going to steal a book from, uh, I'm going to steal a page from James's book. Which uh, I stole from Gunner. Yes. Uh, excellent. So we're all stealing. Hooray. Um, Gunner, number between one and six. Well, you can roll high, so I'm saying two. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can um, Computer King, number between one and six. Three. Three? Yes. Okay. Um, Scott, uh, between one and six. Four. Four. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Brian? Yes. Uh, number between one and six. One. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that means uh, James and uh, James and Daniel get to pick over the last fight over the last two numbers. Ladies first. Age before beauty. Fight to the death. I've already gone. Uh, That's you. That's Daniel. All right, fine. I'm a fucking princess. All right. I'll take six. <laughs> Okay, so that means you James, you're left before with... before beauty. Fair. James, that means uh, you are left with, I forget what number is last. One. Five? I think. No, I have... Oh, oh damn it, he's five. Two? Yeah, well... No, he's five and... Well, he's five, I'm six. Wait, then who... Wait. Brian's five. Brian's no. one. No, I'm one. Brian's okay. one. I thought right, he was right. taking five because I thought he was going to leave us one and six. Daniel, Who's... go. <laughs> Daniel, then... please give us a recap of last session. <laughs> All right. Uh, I forget someone else did it. <laughs> hey, that's, I, I that's am. That's a fucking cop out. Um, It really is. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So Thanks. last time. And hey, kitty. Um, oh, and bye. In New Amsterdam. Not much important happened with the rest of them. I get a call from my lovely buddy. I forget his name. Um, that put him, I, gangster. Hold on. Yep, I think I was like, did I just, I put him in my people contacts? Hmm. No, I did not. I need to put him there real quick. Excellent. Uh, air, wolf, gangster, I love it. Um. So I got contacted by him. He's like, hey, I got a job for you. You know, running some people around. I'm like, okay, sure. So I, he's like, you know, meet me at the night market. We'll, we'll figure something out there. I'll, I'll let you meet them and all that. And essentially everyone got a call like that. And then weeks later, we end up meeting up at the night market, doing our own thing. Uh, and then we see him open up a shop and he's just like, come on, come here, you, come here, come here, come here. Everyone starts coming in, grouping up. And he's like, I... I called you all here today because I have a very important announcement. Um, and uh, no, he was like, I got a job for you. I forgot how much we're getting paid, like 50,000 eddies, I think, you know, 100,000, something like that. Oh, yeah, definitely that many for sure. <laughs> uh, it's uh, 750 a head. 10 million a whole long. Sorry. <laughs> um, Stop. Let me let me get comfortable here. Oh. Okay, so um, he gives us this job, and the job is we're supposed to go find out where in the world is Serenity. No, uh, we uh, I did the title. The movie's over. Right. Um, he's like, I got a client who wants you to help her find someone. Uh, you'll get more information when you go there. Uh, but beyond that, that's all I can tell you. All I'm allowed to tell you. So we're like. All right, cool. Yeah, we can do that. That's a simple, simple grab and bag job. So we get there. We get to a club called Fuck. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that explicit. Um, 
and we were like oh okay this is an interesting place and the old man of the group was like oh, i don't come here ever except once a year um <laughs> and meanwhile the uh oh what are you specifically james oh he's gone Hello? well no your character is something hey solo He's a former prostitute. He's a he's right. a vice. Yeah, he was the the former prostitute. Was like, ah, I know here. Yeah, this is where some of my competitors worked. <laughs> oh, why uh, do I sound like that now? I don't know. You I guys maybe do it. I give you voices. Um, <laughs> I have questions. I have concerns. Um, yes, so that too. He's like, let me do it. I'll get us in. So he goes up and he's like, yo. Hey, what's up? How's the job going today? Yeah, you know, pretty rough. Yeah, no, I've done it. I've been there. I've been there. Uh, I'm here to see uh, the boss. Can you let us in? The guy was like, sure, why not? I don't question this kind of stuff. So he lets them in. <laughs> Meanwhile, I think, yeah, I think all yeah, all of us went in originally. Um, and then we get to the, the boss lady in the back. And where the gimp, this guy in a full gimp suit, like full leather just everything's covered up ball gag all this stuff just like dog walks us in and he, he's sitting there and she's telling us that we have to find serenity there's a girl who works for her who we went missing while going home the other the other night uh the only info we have is like some maybe obsessed dude that was like stalking her uh but i re I, I noticed something i was like the gimp seems to know something but he's not speaking that's a little sus hmm. not just because of the ball gag yeah Hmm. Yeah, the ball gag's not the only thing holding his tongue. So we get back outside, <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I pummel him, kick him to the ground, stomp on his chest, stomp on a couple other things, get him talking. Uh, he liked it, so it's okay. Um, and I'm just like, yo, you know something? Why aren't you telling us? And he's like, ah, well, there's a rival, rival sex uh, club, and they've been recruiting our gals every night, you know, and. Uh, they offer a better prize, a little leaving fee and all this stuff. And well, uh, they might have approached Serenity. Uh, and we were like, oh, okay. Uh, well, what can you tell about this this dude? And he's like, oh, I don't know much about him. He's crazy, but you can go ask this girl or something like that. And so I was like, yeah. oh, okay, cool. I opened the door and I just chuck him in there like, yay. He's been hiding secrets from you about another club hiring your people away from you. And just shut the door. I was like, I'll get the money when we get back. Uh, and I left him to that. So yeah, that was going to be fun. I go back to the truck. Our wonderful medic follows us. Spate um, follows me. We're just chilling. I'm smoking. He's just sitting there. Uh, the rest of the party goes in their own op ways, I think. Uh, old man Bambino. I think he went to the bar? Yes. Question? Yeah. And uh, meanwhile, Estrella was... Where did Estrella go? Um, To the bar. Okay. As well. Bambino and Estrella to the bar and Dove went back to the back to talk to one of the gals. And yeah. uh, she was like, that man, he's so crazy. He comes here all the time asking for her, oh, saying that they're in love and all this stuff and that he's oh, he's the only thing good for her. And this well, I mean, he's not so bad. I mean, this is great. Not, I, I don't I mean, think it's really him. He's he's just not that kind of person. You should, you should be the one who DMs this game. I'm loving the voices that you're giving everybody. <laughs> And so James gets a little info on that. Dove is like, okay, okay. Um, and then there's like a big old fight in the bar. Uh, some gorilla dude is holding this dude back and the bad dude is ripping his hands into the stone like like this gorilla man's barely moving him. Um, well, because darling, that's, that's one of the most fun accents to do. Um, I can't disagree. Okay. I'm getting you the think thing. that Fontaine exists in Fridays. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm outside and I see pretty much the same thing, but from the back as this guy is holding on for dear life, hands dug into the bricks, uh, going, I need to see Serenity! And I walk up and I'm like, now what's going on? What is? What are you doing? And uh, there's like, well, he needs to go away. He, he's the crazy dude that's been stalking Serenity and he demands to see her, but she's not here, dude. It's like I know she's here. So I walk up and I'm like, "Do you want to? Do you want to find Serenity? I can help you find Serenity." And he's like, "Really? Just come with me." And so I pull him back to the van, set him down. He goes, "Oh boy, I'm in dense the van, so he's gonna pay for that." 
Um, I remember that. And yeah, yeah I, I was, was gonna say was... he is borged out because nothing oh, yeah, seems he's... to bother him. He is doped up and borged out big time. Someone gave him drugs. We found out that someone's been slipping him drugs, like drugging him down. And he didn't give us much other than just them. They, them, like they're doing. They gave me. They gave me these drugs. They, 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 they said, yeah. And so we were like, okay, we need to sober him up. I, I want to steal his wallet, but he's homeless, so he doesn't have one. So that sucked. Uh, we just set him up on a brick wall, and I told him, I was like, if you want serenity, uh, I hear she's over within the Ninth Street area. Um, you should go look around there. You know. Have him stir up some trouble, rage out over there, cause a distraction while we do our job. And, uh, yeah, nice. Yeah. And, All uh, right. yeah, that's where we left off. I went way on, way on that. That that's is okay. fine. That that's is the fine. punishment you guys get when you make me Perfect. do it. And I don't mind it at all, but you're yeah. going to have to deal with it. Um, yeah. Uh, so. We are uh, going to pick up exactly where we left off. You guys are in the van outside of Club Fuck in red light. Um, so what uh, maybe maybe it's at this point that um, that uh, um, sorry, where is my characters? There we go. Where D is like, uh, all right, so let's uh. Let's get our uh, shit all set up, or let's get our uh, our leads all organized. So, uh, 9th Street, got the slasher, right? And then, uh, apparently, Skintles is coming and swooping girls. And uh, she walked uh, to the bridge between Centrum and 9th Street. For the audience, we also picked up a uh, NPC named D, who is a uh, crazy, crazy-looking dude because his whole front of his face is just carved out in his place with so those little cyber eyes all over. Um, but he's, yeah, he's, he's chill. Out. Yeah, he's he's really chill. Like normally, people like his his group are all like just violent and uncontrolled, but he's chill. I like him. Oh no, he's he's not new human. He'll he'll tell you. In oh. fact, he did in the very beginning. Someone's like, "Hey, right. new human," and he was like, "Not fucking new human." Yeah, that's right. He's he looks mistaken. exactly like new human, but you know. By the yeah. way, we uh, need to probably need to check into Scaff, Serenity's boyfriend. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, who else? Yeah, there's the fucking cyber slasher. I uh, might want to see if Nine Streets knows something. And then we've they've been finding bodies all in the fucking canal, so the river rats and the Scarlatis might know a thing or two. And he... Yeah, he nods, and it's like... Eh. So, what do we want to chase down? I think the first question is, do we want to go on all these together? We're going to take things separate. Well, if we're going into the nine streets, we're going to need uh, probably to stick together. Especially if a cyber psycho is on the loose. Gotta be honest, I have to agree. You don't mess with fucking nine streets on their turf at the very least. Lucky for you. He just points to the sword on his back. <laughs> yeah, no, Devlin laughs as well. <laughs> or not Devlin, uh, not Devlin, Deltrick. <laughs> I don't know how Devlin reacts, but Deltrick <laughs> definitely laughs. I, oh. I don't know quite how good you are, but... Just me, just looking at the sword. Yeah. Trust me, kid. Just because I'm slow doesn't mean I can't defend myself anymore. Oh, I'm terrible in combat. Uh, but it depends on... A cyber psycho. I don't know just how well you'll handle that. You could just I'm not run saying over I'm gonna go the nine van. rounds, but run them over with the van. Hey, Charge it as a building expense. Sorry. What were you saying, Spat? Like y'all do the fighting, and then when it's done, come see me, and I'll make the pain go away. Maybe. 
I'll try. I like this guy. What did you say, James? <laughs> He's just very quietly kind of throws up his hands like everyone's a critic. <laughs> hey, you want to take the cyber slash run by yourself? Be my friend. Be my guest. I'll you can be here. my friend. <laughs> Actually, that's what he's doing. As uh, probably guess. getting in the driver's seat, probably turns because. Do you think we'd get extra money if we took down a cyber psycho? <laughs> Somebody's gonna have a bounty somewhere. Yeah, yeah, White Wolf. I'd rather not work with them. Nine Streets, dude. They're much more willing to pay than White Wolf. And if they're really causing issues like that, it's got to be bad for business. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Do you remember or was the first game we played in New Amsterdam and how we managed to clear out that house? Uh, is the, you're gonna have to. Does that company exist in this? No, game? it does oh, not. Oh no, no, they do not. Um, he faced it <laughs> has kind of a similar uh situation, but uh no. Just to give everyone context, back before this was a streamed game. Just for fun, I put in um, Seth Skorkowski's Scott Brown Real Estate Agency. Um, we are not going to be doing that because that is it. a it's Seth curious. Skorkowski bit, you know. Yeah, that is um, a funny motherfucker, I got a show in. <laughs> yeah, no, genuinely a fun bit. And uh, in private games, who knows, I might still do it, but I'm not going to ape this thing on stream, you know. I mean, there's a lot of things that we've done. <laughs> True. True. Hey, the uh, museum. Hmm. I'm here, Frank. A lot of bad yeah. things. But yeah, no. Let's. Yeah, see New that. Amsterdam tends to bring out the worst in people's decision making, <laughs> which I love. It's like, it's like I don't know. People get drunk in New Amsterdam, but Speaking like no, not oh, the oh, characters, oh. the like the people themselves. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so, uh, you guys are in the van, so where, where are you guys heading? Are you going to the Nine Streets first? Uh, you'll have to go through Nine Streets to get to the boyfriend's house. Scav's house is uh, up in the north end of Jordan. Uh, I say we go to the bridge first. At least start Scav, there. Scav was Dude, not the guy that was drug, like drugged out, right? That was just no. another dude. Yeah, okay. No, that was Johnny. Or that was, that was John. Johnny. Yeah, John, right. Yeah, yeah. Worst comes to worst, if we find her bad. underneath the bridge, a body, well, then we can call it a job or, or something. Job's done. Yeah. Job's done. Yeah. So. So. No, <laughs> no, no. Not in this campaign, please. There is probably a Scottish oh, man named Bob, uh, who is <laughs> most definitely uh, a weirdo. I'm in... doing the the Cossack shuffle in the fucking background to a shitty accordion. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, are you guys... So, you guys are going to head towards that bridge that there was the... Unless that anyone else got any go brighter through. ideas. I can get us there. Probably the best place to start. Look for clues. What about this, go. uh... What about Mr., uh... Borg oh, man Johnny. here, right. Johnny. He's just leaning up against the nearby building. That's where we left yes. him. Yes, he, he is leaning against the building. Um, he knocked his head on the back of the wall a little bit, and you see, like, big cracks coming in the concrete uh, from where he's, like, smacking his head. He'll be you know, fine. You sure say leaving we someone... should... Go ahead. You sure leaving someone crumbed up like that out to wander on their own is a smart no. idea? No, it's not, but... Do we want to wreck the van or risk wrecking the van? He's been wandering around on his own for quite some time. I think he'll be just okay over here. Yeah, everyone's great until the cyber slasher comes in. Matter of I'm fact, I'd like to see that. Get werewolves. Werewolves. Oh what yeah, yeah. Is this a fantasy game? No, werewolf the. So, actually, your character would know this. Uh, Werewolves is the somewhat stupidly named uh, tactical strike squad for White Wolf. They're, oh. they're like Max Tech. They're the Borg yeah. Wolves, yes. Yeah, yeah, they're they're Max Tech, essentially. Yeah. Or Max Tech. They even have oh. the, the cute little tagline, if they, called the, if they called the Werewolves, they're all screwed. 
There's a lot of references to 2077 in uh, in these notes or What's... these little handouts I gave you. What's 2077? Son, yeah, you're no, not you're speaking 2035. <laughs> what is this? A sci-fi game? <laughs> We're in 2035. Oh, wow. Hey, that's the world's fucked in a year if that's how it's gonna be. Because uh, we've all seen in another game how 2036 is looking. <laughs> <laughs> Which was 2036 again? Yakshas. Yakshas. Oh, yeah. Jesus. I was oh, like, no. Wow, the world's fucked next year. <laughs> I didn't even know that I was a year before uh, before uh, your game. Shit. No, I just think it's funny. They kind of fit. They do. But, uh, wow. yeah, so. Collaboration. Yeah. So, Cross yeah. Crossover stream. Right. Crossover. What is this? A crossover stream? Um. <laughs> But yeah, so you guys, uh, unless you have anything else to do in front of Club Fuck, um, you guys uh, drive off to the bridge over by the Nine Streets. It's like a 10 minute drive max, right? Um, yes, that is the bridge. Um, so uh, as you pull up, you see one, the red and blues of White Wolf, um, flashing way over the side of that bridge. Um, and, uh, you also see, um, you also see, um, a bunch of guys, uh, from, like, a bunch of Nine Street goons, uh, just fucking, like, gathered up on their side of the bridge. It looks like some shit is going down. Um, to the point where in the middle of the bridge, um, there's like a parlay going on. Uh, do I have? I'm gonna, like, Dove reaches over, probably like in the back of the van, like reaches forward and is like tapping on scenes, shoulders like, hey, whoa, can we slow down a little bit? I'm gonna hop on top. All right, you mad lad. Because uh, I have binoculars, and I want to get a closer view of what's going down. Okay. Ooh, I think I put magnification lenses, didn't I? I got them, too. So, Hopefully yeah, well, I was running out of humanity, and I wanted big knuckles. <laughs> and oh, money. Well, I didn't get Fair. those. I literally got a whole uh, cyber audio suite, though. Nice. Get your <laughs> hearing aid, yeah. old man. What'd you uh, say, Trey? What'd you no, say, Brian? It's okay. No. Go ahead. No. Just what'd being you, silly. What'd you say? Just being goofy. So I can get mad yeah, at being you. Goofy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I want the old man to try to hurt me. Ah. Uh, yeah, Brian, Kid, with the I characters can, that Brian makes... I can makes, still spank you. <laughs> hey, we're out of the red light, Tinter. Keep the that <laughs> kind of talk down a bit. Yeah, oh, I was... I'm the one who is a former whore. But All yeah, right. so you, none of you grew up with good parenting. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Mike. You don't become you don't become a hoe with good parents. That's a really <laughs> good point. But no, um, yeah, you um, you get on top of the van and you uh, take a look out. Um, you see a few different types of vehicles. Um, you see the. Uh, you see, first of all, uh, you see a couple um, White Wolf uh, first response cars. Um, you see an EMED AV. Um, and you also see, like, pulling up, like, just pulling up to the scene, there's a uh, Demos disposal, like, uh, hazardous waste disposal car. Um, They've come and to pick up bodies. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, you see a lot of Nine Street goons on the other side of the bridge. All of them have some real itchy trigger fingers. And, um, you see someone who looks at least of some importance talking on the bridge to a, uh, to a, um, a White Wolf, uh, tactical commander. Like, just a squad commander. Mm-hmm. Well, looks like the pretty puppies are talking with Ninth Street. 
Got body disposal, got... Uh, they got an AV floating about. Someone has a good med plan. Uh, considering... I got, got a question for you, Mike. Yar. Would... Bambino know if this is a regular occurrence? Um... Yeah, everyone would know, kind of. Oh, okay. Um... Because I'm, I'm thinking yeah. this is set up very much like a... All right, look, once a week, you come, you bring the bodies to the bridge, we'll dispose of them for you because oh. you won't let us in. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Ninth Street is a very autonomous neighborhood. Um, they take mm -hmm. care of a lot of their own stuff. Um, bodies, they just drive across the bridge straight to, like, places in Centrum. Um, <laughs> no, uh, and that's do. if they don't um, deal with it themselves. No, something's going on. Because, first of all, an EMED AV, they don't crack the AVs out unless uh, something big is happening. Uh, either someone with a lot of money or something time-sensitive is going on. Um, and then, uh, B, if this was just, like, a standard, like, situation with Max Ta or with, god damn it, uh, with, uh, White Wolf, <laughs> they might send one car, but, like, there's two cars, one of them is a squad car. So, like, a car that holds four guys. Gotcha. So, Bambino would, would probably crack the joke. <laughs> Well, looks like somebody with a platinum membership got murked. Anyone yeah. else want to take bets? Well, I'm guessing they're dead, because if they weren't, Emed isn't known for sitting by and letting scavs and gangers keep them away from their quarry. Nope. Hopefully not our target. Let's hope not, otherwise no. it's going to be a small payday. But it's the same bridge. Hmm. Right. We got two options. We can either try and talk to the pretty puppies, or we can try and talk to the Night Street. I don't do so good with corpse. Uh... Fuck White Wolf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you <laughs> just I... get a mm-hmm from D. <laughs> I could talk to them, but uh, I don't think they're going to listen. Yeah, if they they're can get any of their own heads out of their asses long enough to hear us, I don't even think they listen to themselves. Fair, fair. So, do we just sit here, wait until they're gone, and then ask, uh, Nine Streets what the fuck happened? So, when I, when I scope back in with the binoculars, the Ninth Street people, they're mad at... Uh, White Wolf, clearly. Like, that's who yes. they're, they've got the gripe they're, with. They're upset with White Wolf. Um, like, things aren't, like, boiling over into, like, violence um, at all. But, like, you would know, first of all, Nine Streets are always upset with White Wolf just because of their history with them. Um, but, like, this seems different because, like, White Wolf usually doesn't fuck with Nine Streets ever anymore it's just not worth it it's not profitable it never gains them ground it usually just loses them resources so there's some reason that white wolf is here i was gonna say uh platinum memberships don't exist sorry executive They're... level memberships don't exist right here, right they? they do they do uh oh okay. this is because that yeah, was you, that was you are spot on. okay yeah no you're spot on we can even call it a platinum membership i never really like set it up necessarily but it that's basically what it is right um so is like that that's his like goal. yeah so like i said avs swoop in either if someone with like a high level membership is injured or if there's something that's time sensitive mm. <laughs> oh no big deal someone just you know put another bomb on the bridge <laughs> probably that's why uh, hazmat's like here. Go ahead. <laughs> I'd like to talk to Ninth Street. This is I can drive us right on through. I don't think they're going to let you. I wasn't going to ask permission. <laughs> oh. Shit, let me get back in first. <laughs> <laughs> let me get down away from the windows. <laughs> um, that was half a joke. Look at the guns they've got. God. I don't know if this... Van is bulletproof after what it took earlier. Don't think it is. 
It was yeah, I'm before. Thinking it was before what it took earlier. <laughs> exactly. Well, it took one borked up dude like bonking his head on it to dent it. Mm. But that means it's got good crumple zones. Yeah, so I'm going to accelerate massively and take a sharp turn and go to the next bridge. Okay. You know what else? There's massive crumple zones. Uh, my Dan oh God, uh, James. James. God. I am become all that yeah. booty. I have become Jesus. the Mike Daniel James. A True. paper cup, by the way. True. Um, <laughs> North Those Bridge papers. or South Bridge, mm. Daniel. North is probably closer, still within their territory. So. Okay. Yeah, so you go up to the North Bridge. North Bridge is not uh, all that, like, guarded. It's your standard guarding. Um, you actually can get a really good view of what's going on at the South Bridge from the North Bridge. Uh, it looks like the, the AV is hovering above a spot in the canal, and there's a flare that's dropped there, but you can't, like, see in detail what, like, the flare is illuminating. Yo, Goggles, right. you want to take a look? <laughs> Bro, I was gonna do it. <laughs> Damn it. I, was gonna say, I mean, hey, I have these boy. fucking binoculars. I paid for them. I'm gonna use them. <laughs> I've got some too. It's okay. Yeah. I had a lot of extra money and I was like, hmm, I'll just buy equipment. I did. So, I love it. Yeah, I love that. Um, yeah, you take a peek. Uh, you see that there are uh, a few bodies. You can't determine the exact amount of bodies because they're kind of a little bit minced. Ugh. Uh, these guys got turned into scop. Lady uh, or man parts? Uh, oh, I can't both. tell. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can assume it's both, but like, again, yeah, it's kind of dark. You're looking at a distance. Can't Even tell if, if it's true. A, can't tell if that's a dick or if that's just a bit of entrails. All right, all right. So oh, and they are right in the middle of the canal, sitting on what looks to be some sort of wooden pallet that's just, like, floating there. That explains the tensions. So Plus what you're saying is... So what you're saying is, uh... We've at least found the hunting ground for our cyber slasher. I, I, excuse me, dumping ground. Not looking like we're gonna find. What's her name again? I'm sorry. Serenity. Serenity. I almost said Shirley. <laughs> you know, I watched a Don't movie once Shirley. where the ship's name was Serenity. Don't know how it has to do with this, but. <laughs> Mike, it did means you get that a, someone uh, will inevitably betray us? Did you get a weather alert? No. Nope. Like I had a pop up for a weather alert southeast, and I don't see it anymore. I did not. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so do you guys try and drive into the nine streets, or what do you guys do? I'm going to leave that to the driver. <laughs> I'm just playing lookout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can... Yeah, zoom in. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck. Uh, I mean, I'll just drive across. Sure. Yeah, you start to drive across, and you get to the normal Nine Streets blockade. Uh, looks a little lighter staffed than usual. Um... Probably something to do with the bridge to the south having a fuck ton of guys. Um, but yeah, they, they stop you and they do the classic, you know, like, all right, you're carrying goods, you're carrying a bunch of people, like, uh, what's your business, blah, blah, blah. Oh, just going to see someone on the other side. Yeah, and they... They uh, check you out. They do a real quick uh, scan on the van with a with a couple scanners. Uh, they walk up and down the side. Takes maybe like five minutes, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, this guy who's kind of at the window is like, "All right, 
You, uh, you seem to check out, um... Be careful while you're out there, uh... There's, uh, crazy shit going on tonight. Just, uh, keep your head down. No offense, but unless you know someone in Nine Streets, we'd prefer if you didn't stay here tonight. You got it. Yeah. So, yeah, they <laughs> let you through the checkpoint. As we're going um, through, mm -hmm. Bambino's gonna go, You know, never been through one of these checkpoints before. They actually search. I'm used to yeah. the white wolf, the, the half-assed white wolf shit. Mm hmm It took them almost five minutes. You'd think they were, you'd, you'd think they were actually looking. Yeah, and to give you a description of both the Nine Streets and the Nine Street goons that you met, um, the Nine Street goons are dressed in partial military regalia. Um, some stuff that appears to be custom made from this place, some stuff that's left over from, uh, <clears throat> some stuff that's left over from White Wolf, some stuff that's left over from AWP, uh, or OP, uh, some stuff that's left over even from Cartec, um, which you're, uh, which they're, like, really well trained. Um, the place that you're in is an interesting mix of classic Dutch architecture and like, um, like weapon emplacements and um, kind of like uh, like community gardens and uh, just very very like DIY aesthetic. Do they uh, call the Ninth them... Street? Hmm? Do they call them victory gardens? Uh, they might. <laughs> um, maybe sarcastically. But, uh, okay. <laughs> no, the Nine Streets is one of the two demilitarized zones in, um, in New Amsterdam. Like, the two areas that there is a legitimate military truce. There's that, and there's Nemo, and it's for very different reasons. But, uh, yeah. So, you guys are heading through, uh, Nine Streets, um... And uh, you get to the opposite end of the bridge. This one's even less staffed on the inside angle. Um, so you you get through just fine. Um, and uh, you are now in your dawn, a uh, awful, awful, terrible hellscape of giant mega buildings that are stacked with rat motel style uh, apartments. Um, Jordan used to be a really beautiful uh, local attraction in Amsterdam um, until the entire place was essentially bulldozed and replaced with low-rent apartments. Um, you see a pretty decent amount of homeless people out here. Um, there's a decent amount of traffic. Uh, to some of you, this may smell like home. To others, this may smell like a strange mixture of street vendors and dirt. But, um... Yeah, you are now in your dawn. So, uh, you guys oh, are I was going... muted. Wow. Oh. Um, were we actually passing through, or were you wanting to go down and check out what was happening? Because that oh, was just yeah. the excuse I gave. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Were you wanting to uh, check out what was going on on the bridge? I mean, yes, but it's probably going to be easier to do so when there aren't two groups of people that want to kill us, potentially. Mm. Come back on our way through, then. Yeah, right. we can always do that. Okay. Yeah. So, you guys head up. I will drag the token over to where this guy's apartment is. Boop! So, north of a couple city blocks. Um... A couple, haha. Ha. But yeah, you guys get up. Um, you guys get to Mega Building R35. This is where uh, this is where Scav's apartment apparently is. Um, and uh, yeah, you pull into the garage, um, the uh, parking garage, and uh, it is very full. Um, but yeah, you you get here. Um, you have an address, you, like, know, like, kind of, like, the floor and, uh, room he's in. Um, so how do you, how do you approach this situation? 
Well, he's just got what an apartment. Yes, just Studio. an apartment. Yay, yeah, cheapo rat motel style, very like coffin apartment. One entrance, one exit, no windows. Uh, yep. All right. Well, That's there there is a window um, that goes directly out, but he's on like the the seventieth floor or something. Hey, we Jeez. got options. That that means we got options. We need yeah, to chuck this guy out a window. We can. I hmm. probably brought my duffel bag with me then. Okay. It's a long nice. trip. Hell yeah. So, uh, we want to try talking to this guy? If we just want into his apartment and he's not there, we can work on that, too. I can pick Start out, pretending that he's there, see if he is, work from there. Yes. Works for me. Pan me. <laughs> yeah. D's like... Whatever you need me to do. Well, you might have to throw him out a window, but let's hope he, it doesn't come to that. He looks at his arms, and then he looks at uh, Dove's arms and goes, I think he's the throwing out the window type. I just fix things real good. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, Dove Fair. doesn't look the throwing out the window type, but then you notice that, yeah, his right arm's completely... Uh, it's a cyber arm, so he, he at least has one good throwing arm. Yeah. Hey, you ever wanted to try out? Yeah. Actually, never mind. I think they banned <laughs> certain. He was about to. He was about to say, "You ever thought about trying out to be a pitcher here?" Uh, what is the local team? Um, uh oh shit! We came up with a name for them, didn't we? Yes, we did. Um, they are the New Amsterdam. Hold on. Windmills? Uh, <laughs> the windmills. Yeah, right. Or was it the tulips no, or something? No, no, no. They were the lumberjacks, weren't they? Yeah, that's right. They were the New Amsterdam yeah. lumberjacks. You ever thought about? He was going to say, "Have you ever thought about trying out for the lumberjacks with that arm?" And then he thought, "Oh, wait. They probably don't allow cyber arms." But you know, you could just say you have it for medical reasons, and then it's fine. You're allowed to yeah. cheat if it's for a medical reason. <laughs> and actually. And, and actually, following MLB as of late, here in, you know, real world, you, there's just, you could just cheat because nobody stops you. True. What's <laughs> pine tar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Hmm. Uh, if, if you had asked, he'd have been just, he'd have just, like, given Bambino kind of, like, a long look and then, like, my what? line of work being a pitcher means something really different. <laughs> he kind of gives you this confused look like... <laughs> Well, you know what I meant. Therefore, you can stop being confused. I know. No, but he's looking for special kind of catchers. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. He, like, does the, the finger gun that causes, like, a little spark from the metal fingers gliding past one another. He's like, I just like making you uncomfortable. So we're going to kick down this what door? What makes or we gonna you knock? think I'm uncomfortable? Just confused. Are we standing in front of the apartment door? We'll, we'll say that this is this like your door. elevator talk. In the elevator, okay. Yeah, because the elevator takes like three Five minutes ever. to get up. Yeah. There's some old lady who's just stuck in the elevator with oh, a, yeah. trying to hide in the corner. Yeah, there's like a weird cavalcade of clearly seedy underbelly people. And then just this old lady with a bag of groceries who's terrified. <laughs> Maybe like D looks over and just like, so like sort of thing. <laughs> Well, lady, She's like, never seen a man in a pinstripe suit before. Or is it the bolo tie? I get that. This isn't my favorite one either. She like, just like, <laughs> slowly nods. Just like, she doesn't know what to say. <laughs> She's very yeah, she strange. just <laughs> winks at her as she changed the magazine in her gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this lady's like, this lady squeezes past whoever she needs to to hit the next floor button the thing opens and she just scurries out just terrified you guys are terrible what i didn't do nothing what i was just talking about baseball just talking about baseball 
There's nothing wrong. Oh, uh, that's there? what they're calling it these days, hey? <laughs> Be surprised they got a lot of terms for it. I start hitting the button for the <laughs> 17th floor a couple times. Yeah. Come on, close the doors. So, so you guys, you guys get up these 70 floors. Um. On and, our way up, uh, I'll call my per uh, uh, Devin will call his personal assistant mm -hmm. where they are to meet him there with extra tools. Right, right. Um, so you're you're calling your personal assistant to meet you where? Um, just downstairs from where we are now. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, they're they're like, yo, I'll, I'll be there right there, Mr. Devlin. I, I, <laughs> oh my god, it's your percent of my power. Oh my god, is his name Wilkins? He's, he's a lot more competent than that. Down oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't no, know, he's, but I'll be there. Yeah, no, he's competent, but he's also just constantly in a state of being, like, terrified. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I would have li liked her to be more um, Dora Milaje from Black Panther. Hmm. Yeah. I have not seen Black Panther, actually. I quit. Oh, I'm done. That's fair. That's Good night, bro. You're fired, Mike. If someone I wants to beat me to death, that's since totally Iron Man fine. 2. Hey, um, bold black warrior woman. Okay, yeah, never mind. Uh, so yeah, oh I can, I can yeah, change that then. Yeah, I can change that then. So cool. yeah, she's probably like, um, she's probably like, see you downstairs, Mister Devlin, sort of thing. Um, yeah. like I'll be there in fifteen, sort of thing. Oh my God, it's T Bug. Please don't yeah, kill T Bug. Yeah, it's it's just T Bug. It better not yeah. be T Bug, or else we're only gonna <laughs> have her for like two sessions. Ladies and gentlemen. Shaggy whales. Anyway, spoilers. Um, so yeah, you you guys. Spoilers. The game's still broken. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've been playing it and having a grand old time. Uh, I treat it like I treat a Bethesda game. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be way glitchy, but the writing's good. Um, but anyway, you guys get to the apartment. Um, it's uh, we'll say it's apartment. Um, apartment. 15 of floor 70 so 715 um you you get there um how do you approach look we just want to talk to him right we don't want to intimidate him let the old man knock or i can knock yeah. let the old man do it yeah okay. i think he's the <laughs> least and looking between like everyone in the party yeah, he's the least uh, throwing out the window type. <laughs> he takes his hat. He takes his hat off. He forgot to do it because he was, you know, now, now that he's indoors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll just say I the mean, elevator doesn't count. Yeah, I mean, like, let's be real. Mega buildings are technically indoors, but they're so big that like they might as well not be indoors at some points. So you're yeah. good. So um, he doffs his hat. And, I love that word, doff. Anyways, good <clears throat> word. Goes over to the door and knocks three times. Yeah, you uh. Um, Looking for all the world like an old, sad, lost grandpa. Yeah, and um, you walk up to the door. Uh, and this is when you realize the doors are pretty thick because it's only when you get within about one or two feet of the door that you hear, like, some hard rock music playing. Um, this thing got you, a doorbell. Uh, yeah, you. There's a doorbell, so yeah. Ring the doorbell. Um, <laughs> you, you ring the doorbell, you hear a sort of thing, uh, and you hear like a huge like clattering noise on the inside, and you're just like, shit, fuck! And, uh... Someone's <laughs> drunk. Yeah. You, uh... You hear uh, on the little intercom, uh, hey, just a minute! And, um... <laughs> you know, he's you, um... He's doing his best, um... Grandpa got lost from the nursing home uh, imper impersonation. Nice, nice. He's doing the whole staring off into space, just kind of looking around like, yeah. Mm. What, didn't they put the tracking implant in you? <laughs> Instead of world's greatest dad roles, he has world's greatest grandpa roles. Yeah, I'm sure that Panopticon offers many senior care and end-of-life care options. Oh. Um, wow. Yeah. No, um, you... Um, he, finally, after like a minute or two, uh, the door opens, 
and um, only partially. It's a sliding door, metal, partially opens. Um, you see just this sallow looking face with this guy with like long, greasy black hair over his face. And he's wearing a stained, uh, stained wife beater and uh, some sort of like torn up jeans with like Kevlar weave in them. Uh, so they're intentionally acid wash, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, you want. And as, yeah, as, as he's looking through the door, he kind of straightens up, sharpens up. And, mm-hmm. hey, kid, I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. And, uh, says, uh, you ain't taxes, are you? <laughs> no, if I'm retired, but seriously, I've got some questions about, um, he's got the door halfway open, right? Uh, I'd say it's more of like a quarter of the way open. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And yeah, just but... enough so he can stick his head out. Right. Yeah. Got some questions about Serenity. He, uh, he, um, his face just, like, drops, and he's just like, I know nothing. And, like, starts to close the door. Hey, 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 hey. We're trying to find her. He goes, you a badge? (laughs) Do I look like a badge to you? (laughs) Like I told you, I'm retired. (laughs) <laughs> and he looks you up and down and goes, We're in a suit. Yeah. I only got like three sets, so I alternate. He, uh, if very... Conv- Go ahead. He very cautiously starts to open the door. Um. Yeah. And he holds and- his hands out to show that he's got nothing in it secretly. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have anything yeah. in it. He's got, you know, his hat in one hand, but that's it. Yeah, and uh, you can get a glance into his room. You notice two things. One, it is pathetically small. The room is about the size of a queen-size bed. Um, oh, it has, stops. Yeah, it has a uh, twin bed, um, so about half the room is taken up by a bed, right, uh, hitting the back wall. Um, and then the floor is filthy there's a vending machine on the wall that um like the the monitor on the vending machine is just like broken um he hits a button on the radio and as he hits a button on his uh on his sound system you see a couple air hypos um fall down some used ones Mm. uh and um yeah, no, his uh, his living quarters is not exactly luxurious by any stretch. No, oh, of course. Uh, yeah. do you mind if I step in? He uh chuckles and and like uh says, "Watch where you step." And like he throws the door open, like a fucking like a couple roaches just skitter their way out sits on his disgusting greasy bed greasy sweet bed oh sorry <laughs> um and here's oh, a question noise. what are the rest of you doing <laughs> yeah i was gonna say Go ahead. uh dub's trying to play it off like he's not in the group if that makes sense he's just like standing right next to the door like leaned back up against the wall foot on the wall yeah yeah and he's got some some cheap shit cigarette that he's sure, smoking. Sure. Are they clove cigarettes? I guess. Excellent. I just figured that that Dove would be the kind of guy to smoke clove cigarettes. Well, um, um, yeah, I was going to say, we're all probably just standing there down the hall. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to ask Dove, though, about Serenity's friend. Like, oh, so the... Cherry? The girl you... Yeah, Cherry. Uh, what, did, what did she say about Serenity. Said that Serenity didn't talk a whole lot. She was kind of the new girl there. Still getting her feet wet. Did she ever mention meeting Scab? 
She did say that her and Scav were not like a good couple, right? Yeah, no, right. she said that they were like one of those on again, off again, like both of them are bad for each other kind of things. But mm -hmm. did, did Cherry ever meet Scav? Did she yeah. ever meet him? No. No. Never met the um, guy, but uh, talked a lot about him. At least enough to know that well, it was kind of a two-way street. They didn't really get along. Broke up, got back together, broke up, got back together, probably said a lot of mean things, probably had a lot of worse phone calls. Takes a drag. <laughs> By the way, you guys can move eh, unless no. you just want him. Do you want just him to talk to him? That's fine. Well, but that's going to have to be the thing. Yeah. So we'll just. There's not enough room um, for seven people to crowd in. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, uh, yeah, really another really question. Just, oh, just, definitely. just throwing this out there. What what color was Cherry's hair? Uh, we'll say it was pink. It was, no, it uh, was cherry red. And uh, did we ever get a color for Serenity's hair? Uh, I mean, you have a picture of Serenity. Oh, okay. Um, she's got like neon blue hair. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, uh, Devlin, what yeah. were you saying? Computer King. Sorry. Oh, you're good. What was the question again? Uh, what were you saying? Oh, I, that, that uh, it's not enough room to be in there, for all of us to be in there, unless we want him very, very scared. <laughs> very true. I, if that's necessary, we might. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. I'll, well, I'll, you're I'll just... now, so you can open the door, and then I mean, you just talk to the clown car. I was going to say, yeah. talking's my thing. I can get him to talk. Yeah. Um, what is Devlin doing? At this very moment. Uh, Devlin's standing in the middle of the hallway, just between his uh, his room and the elevators, just in case he bolts. Okay, gotcha. And then to get past um, Ambino and whoever else is close. Right. Um, oh, also uh, waiting for the uh, call back from um, my personal assistant, Shia. Sure, sure, Shia, gotcha. What um, are you saying, Scott? Yeah, Spate, what are you up to? I would think I would be closest to the door, and if mm -hmm. he asked about me, like, kind of look in there, and if he asked anything, it's like, I'm the old man's nurse. Just make sure he's okay. Like, <laughs> I like that. Nice. And then, Estray, uh, what are you up to um, while Bambino is doing this kind of talking? Uh, just leaning against the wall, probably reading the, the, the latest data sheets. That sure, are. sure. Yeah, Trying and back into that bank account. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're do we're we're searching some of that stuff out. Like, oh that. yeah, oh yeah. It's looking like you'll probably need a special demon to get into this one because uh, like something custom made for these accounts because they're pretty um pretty high end. So it's definitely doable. Um, right now you're probably laying the groundwork of, okay, where do I get this? What are the exact details of this account I'll need to give the person, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, Dove and Scene are kind of talking, um, off nearby. Uh, Bambino. Yeah. So you, uh, you walk into this guy's apartment and he kind of, um, Looks around and then closes door and goes, a lot of fucking people around tonight. <laughs> fucking sits down. Um, and uh, at this point, you definitely know, uh, dude's got fucking, dude's got sludge all over his apartment. Sludge is a, uh, it's a prescription painkiller um, that is used by militaries um, that is heavily abused uh, in New Amsterdam. Uh, he's Spend he's got like empty sludge hypos all around his apartment. Uh, he looks strung out right now. I'm getting a lot of static from you, Daniel. Okay, sorry. Ooh. But yeah, uh, he's he's okay. like, uh, is this a cheap want... drug? Expensive drug? Um, Who sources it? If you get if you get the real shit, it's kind of expensive. This all looks bootleg. Uh, very cheap. Probably got it either from Banda or River Rats, which yeah. about these time, about this time in history, uh, almost synonymous. 
Yeah. I'm gonna say so. Yeah, the the rats. It's cl- I mean, it, geographically they're close. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And Banda operates out of west, I want to say. So they are oh, yeah. also pretty close. But well, yeah. and yeah, and and he's probably seen enough rat shit that he's like, oh fuck, yep. Because remember, oh, yeah. he used he used to be head of smuggling. Oh yeah. So he would back when things weren't as bad. Yeah. But oh, they operate out of Westport. Oh. Ain't that okay, convenient. so up north. Yeah. So, but yep, yeah, north up a neighborhood, and waterfront would be closer, which is major rats territory. So yeah, you probably got it from rats if you had to ascertain. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, <laughs> just well, yeah, it looks like rat shit. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's probably what he. But yeah, it. he's. <laughs> but he's like, what do you want to know? I've kind of been hired to uh, find her. You said you were retired. I am. This is a favor for a friend. Hmm. Looks at you and maybe he's got like some some kind of ramen that uh, is in a bowl that he uh, picks up and starts eating, you know, with some chopsticks and goes, don't know how I can help you. We ain't a thing. And, like, fucking takes a couple bites. Well, when's the last time you saw her? Kinda cocks his head and scratches his chin and goes, Shit. A week ago? Mm, a week, huh? When mm. did she go missing? Uh, like, two days ago. You know, if she was having problems with anybody, we were told last time she was seen, well, basically, she got to the Ninth Street's bridge and then Biomon turned off. Hmm. Goes, uh, shit, fucking Biomon? Fucking Mm -hmm. bitch didn't tell me shit. What you mean? That fucking ritzy. Woo. Got a fucking biomod. Good for her. Hey, hey, hey. You two, uh. You said you're not a thing. Did that happen last time you saw her? And she's like, uh. Or he's like, uh. Oh, uh, maybe. And, uh, kind of like looks at you just kind of almost defiantly hey i'm trying to help here it sounds like you didn't leave off on the best of terms huh says uh he's like i mean i don't know how the fuck this is even gonna help me what he's like Ain't gonna help you. He's well, that's like, a shame. he's like, I and mean, she's fucking dead. That's probably why you're looking for her. So, fuck does that got to do with me? Because maybe she's not dead. He kind of, you know, is messing with a gold band on his left ring, and he says, "Look, sometimes shit's messy. I get it. But from what I understand." You guys have gotten back together before, right? And, uh... At this point, I think some sort of persuasion role of some variety would be appropriate. He can persuade, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Thirteen's not bad. We'll throw Um, luck on there if we can. Um... Yeah, go for it. Because um, th- okay. basically it's just a one for one point by. Yes. I take one out of luck, I throw one on there. We're going to do three luck, make that a 16. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he's like, listen, she was a good girl. Shouldn't have been doing what she was doing. Shouldn't have been around who she was around. Fucking... 
Are you talking club fuck or someone else? He's like, listen, it's none of my fucking business, but once you start doing the hard shit, hanging around new human, that's when oh. shit gets fucked. That's not my bag. I was supposed to keep. I was supposed to keep talking to her. Apparently, she got chipped by them. I don't know if I'm talking euphemism or not. But fucking, if she's got a biome on, fucking, and like, just fucking ambling at this point. And yeah, he lets him go for a little bit and says, "Son, I think what you've got here is a little bit of a perspective problem." And he looks up and goes, eh? I mean, look at it. You're sitting in an apartment that's too small for you. Living off ramen. And taking sludge. Is that really how you want to live? Goes, I think oh. she... I think oh, go you've got her wrapped up. She's got you wrapped so far around her little finger. You can't see yourself, much less anything else. He looks at you, and he's like, you don't fucking know me. You know my fucking dad, or grandpa. <laughs> Kid, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I've seen a lot of people screw up in the same way. Hell, I screwed up in the same way. He says, kind of, you know, showing that gold band. Yeah. I... Look... I'm saying this not because I'm trying to act better. Yeah. I'm saying this because I think there's better for you. And I don't want you to fuck that up. Um, give me a human, uh, what is it, a human perception? Or yeah. okay. the, the read a person thing? Uh, oh god, which, which set of skills is that under? Social skills all the way on the right. Yep. It's all under social. There we go. Nope, he's My not specialty. good at this. I um, mean, I've skilled it, in all that. It doesn't take you. Um, it doesn't take an expert to see uh, what's going on, and you, you have experience with young thugs like him, because uh, mm. the dude's wearing a uh, street warden like fucking like a street warden like style necklace, right? Mm -hmm. Um. One, this dude's high right now, and nobody likes it when someone tries to tell him how or what to do when they're high. And two, like, the dude's already a defiant young punk. Sure. He's maybe 24, right? Oh, Like, sure. at the oldest, you can't really get a read, but, like, he's he's a young dude. You're, you're talking to him, and, like, the second you went into advice mode, he did, like, oh, yeah. parent scream. Like, he just, like, put up that wall. You know what I mean? Right. And, you know, when that, he's looking. All right, I can see now's not the best time. She was yeah. messing with no human, huh? Yeah, fucking hanging out with some guy named Red Eye. Fucking oh. dumb shit. <laughs> fucking Johnny. Johnny. Oh, how nice John is. Why are you fucking marry John, huh? Hey, Johnny, the, the fucking dumbass? Yeah, the fucking not only dumbass. Is, I love Charlie. Not, nice. not only is he... Well, he's trying to get on his good side right now. Yeah, yeah. Not only is he Borged, he's also... We saw him... Oh, crying over chair. No, crying over Serenity at Club hey. Fuck Not three hours ago. Hey, he's a fucking pussy is what he is. Fucking, yeah. like... Yeah. yeah, like, lays down on the bed, like, kind of does that, like, flop with open arms thing. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, he is. But Red Eye, <laughs> that's a name I haven't heard before. What, is he just with no human? He goes, I don't fucking know. They all look the same. They all act the same. Bunch of fucking assholes. Apparently either, either she wants some kind of sensitive pretty boy... Doesn't make a fucking Eddie. Or she wants to go hang out with full throttle party hogs. I guess I just didn't have whatever she wanted. <laughs> oh, kid. Stop talking about my life like it's yours. <laughs> Anyways. 
Here. He flashes him his deets. He's figured yeah. out how to do that at the very least. Sure, sure. You wake up one morning finally realizing you want something different. Give me a call. We'll go to a ball game. Talk. And maybe yeah. find you something. Yeah. He uh, shrugs and goes, hey. <laughs> hey, I may be an old fart, but I'm an old fart that knows people. Yeah, and uh, he, maybe yeah. he has that Michael DeSanto, like the meeting Michael DeSanto moment of he kind of like realizes, oh, okay, well maybe this guy is a little, a little more valuable than I initially thought, but he doesn't like often show it. Yeah, you can tell because you've brought guys in before. Everybody um, wants so to act tough. Exactly, exactly. Everybody wants to act tough. And at this point, you know, Bambino's just like, look, I'm going to say what I want to say when I say it, because I don't got that many years left. Why hide it? If you if you have a problem with it, well, maybe... Maybe that's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to ridicule you because I feel like it. Because yeah, he exactly. knows where's that... He, he knows where's that where that's been. So. Yeah, he, he knows where the line is. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, no. Um, at this point, he probably is, like, pretty, like, uh, whatever, you know, sort of thing. Like, um, yeah, doesn't and doesn't really have a lot more for you unless you ask him specific stuff. He's he's kind of awkward. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So we've got the name Red Eye. I'm assuming somebody in this group either knows it or we can find somebody that knows um, yeah. He doesn't seem to, yeah. He seems to just be a moody fuck right now. So. Oh yeah. The day he's not off meds, I fully expect a call from him because he's in trouble and needs help. Yeah. Not because he, you know, not because. Okay, maybe I was too harsh, but no, I, I need help, and you said you could help. Right. Exactly. You said you know people. And Grandpa, I'm, like, oh. I'm indebted to the Russian cartel. Yeah, right. Bando wants to cut off my arm. <laughs> but... Oh, I dealt with them once. First thing you do is find That's... a group of five or six of them. <laughs> Kill the important looking one in the restaurant. <laughs> We're getting into some cut real mob the... territory. <laughs> cut off the show mid -set. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> That's uh, good. Anyways, so yeah, he, yeah. he turns and yeah, Lee exits the room. Yeah, so you exit the room. Everyone sees Bambino leave. There was no real uh, excitement going on out there. Uh, Devlin, at this point, um, what is your uh, what is your person's name again? I uh, Shia, S H I apostrophe A H. Okay. There we, we got to go. up in the bio section of my character sheet. Nice. Yeah, Shia is um, over at... Um, oh, I'm seeing it. Perfect. Yeah, so um, Shia's in the... Um, in the uh, lobby at this point of the mega building. She sends you, like, a text of, like, here, you know. She kind of sends those really efficient texts, you know? Yeah. Very, like... Here's the information you need. No flavor. Like, um, but, uh, yeah, so you've got that going for you. The rest of yous, y'all see, uh, y'all see good old Bambino walk out. So, yeah, what's, uh, probably, probably D looks and goes, uh, eh, the king has come out of his castle. <laughs> this is just as, like, doves got like the carton back and he's like got the second cigarette in his mouth that he's lighting with the stub of the first one plastic but then he's also he looks over at a uh, scene is like one one ain't oh, great scene, but, like, scene has his own they're, they're much better oh he's got his own cigarettes yeah. deal take one yeah sure yeah he'll take one and then taste it and be like give you that look of like is this close <laughs> like take another puff listen I don't do this because I like the nicotine I do it because of my old job you wanted the taste out of your mouth mm, shrugs so um he actually uh 
Yeah, we could say his eyes do the blue flashy thing, and you're all delivered an audio file because he's just always recording everything. Naturally. He'll tell you it's because he wants to be efficient, but really it's just because he can't figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I Tech love support, that. how do I turn it off? Oh, thank you. Pull out my oh. agent, I'm just like, um, am I going to have to listen to the whole thing in the car? Are you going to give me a... No, Sparkling I'll just give you the rundown. This is for posterity. Yeah, so, plus, uh, plus your agent would auto-apply uh, subtitles or, um, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it or would auto-dictate. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine's going from speech to text. It's just oh, for sure. my yeah. eyes. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's the thing, though. How good is the text-to-speech? Is this, like, Google, it's like, decent. YouTube auto it's... stuff where every now and then it just says something really <laughs> fucking outlandish? Yes. yes. Oh, no, it's more like the <laughs> Actually, type. I've got a best mm -hmm. of my, my agents in my head. So yes, oh, yeah. it, nobody will ever know. So, oh yeah. Long, long story short, sounds like our girl was messing around not only with Johnny, but a guy named Red Eye too. Apparently, he was no human, or at least he seems to think that. We all look to D. Why? Bambino yeah, no, doesn't D, look to D. He D said he wasn't the new human. Yeah, no, oh, D God. looks at the rest of you guys and goes, What? Not new human. <laughs> yeah, why are you he look, He's not if new human. Bins, <laughs> if yeah, okay. Just because someone's got an arc. Yeah, just because someone's got an ocular implant means they're new human. Uh huh. Yeah. No. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, so it's less, Oh, I replaced my eyes. It's more like. Oh, so I took the whole, this whole fucking quarter of my skull off yeah. and shoved a flashlight in it. No, he's <laughs> he's borged up. I gave him uh, just about as many implants and augments as I could give him at level one as I could. He de he definitely looks new human. Like that's yeah. him saying I'm not new human is kind of funny because that'd be like that'd be like somebody wearing a fucking like entire like. Uh, Police know, officer's like uniform, wearing... and I'm not police. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? I'm not police. Like, or a know. firefighter's get up. That would yeah, be more appropriate. Yeah, yeah. I'm no exactly. firefighter. Call the real ones. I'm just yeah. here for the chicks. I'm why cosplay. The fuck do you... yeah. Why the yeah? Why the fuck do you think I could actually put out this grease fire? I'm not a firefighter. But right. no, um... I'm not an actual firefighter. I just like that I get to swing axes at things. Okay, but yeah, now he sighs and. Yeah, I know who Red Eye is. Good customer, bad customer, somewhere in between customer. New human ain't ever good customers. I mean, exactly. Some I of them understand. is okay, but uh, not Red Eye. Nah. Red Eye uh got a little camp up Central Station. Fights White Wolf whenever he can. Steals uh steals shit off trains. Overall, just a bit of a dick. Not the biggest dick I've ever met, but well, a dick on. nonetheless. You said Central look Station to Dove. or Centrum Station? <laughs> Central Station. Oh, you so not the same like, station. Okay. Fuck no, no, because there is no Centrum Station. There's well, you, Centrum? Had said, you had said that there was a station. Who was it? Was it Johnny that went to a station and now he's fucking dosed? Uh... Or, yeah, no, that yeah. was that was also Central State. I might have misspoke. Central okay. Station is like a district. There is no Centrum Station. I, I gotcha. must have misspoke. That's my bad. No so uh, yeah. that's what my train pass says. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so wait, who was it? Was it Serenity that was being stalked there, or was it? Ah, that's right. She. Didn't Sherry say that she was being stalked by someone at Central Station? That's why she walked? Um, it's like, I thought that Sherry said that uh, she was getting stalked on just the normal subway route. Could be both ways. Well, we could see if we can find out who that stalker is. Then wasn't it Johnny? That someone said something about Central Station, otherwise I wouldn't have written it down. So yeah, Central no. Station, Johnny got doped up at Central okay. Station. Yeah. So uh, they, uh, okay, so all right, Johnny and Red Eye are probably connected in that way. So 
All right. Well, at the very least, we can. We can. My money's that Red Eye has something to do with Johnny acting the way he is. Why? You think maybe this was some way to get the competition out of the way? <laughs> no. Oh, come on. She probably just used Johnny when she was feeling like she needed money. You saw Johnny? That guy ain't got no money. No. <laughs> Meanwhile. He's probably compensating with something else, anyway. <laughs> Australia's over there. Can't get Johnny's fucking account. Yeah. Oh, this is the gift that she's trying to get the account. Oh, of. right, right. Yeah. Never mind. I thought no, it was Johnny, Johnny doesn't. Johnny doesn't okay. have an any. He doesn't have shit. It's the gimp. Oh, no. I want that gimp account. Yeah. Yeah. Is she, <laughs> oh, no. I want that, that gimp, gimp account. account. I love the fucking quotes that are coming out of this campaign already. She's going to get it. doesn't gimp matter. He's a gimp. Bail out of the campaign. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 50 but, million. 50 million. Woo. God damn it. So am I driving us to Central Station or back to 9th Street? Well, it sounds like she did a lot with Red Eye. He was kind of broke up about it, too. <laughs> Poor kid. One day he'll wake up and realize he's all alone. And then he's sober. <laughs> yeah. And then he'll kiss a shotgun. So, are there, like, I hope he calls delays me that. at these bridges? Are there what? Like delays or anything at the bridges between up here in this corner? No, or not not I really. I could just drive up there and then drive especially, down. Yeah, especially because you're going from Yordon to Canal Belt, and then you're going from Canal Belt to Waterfront. Uh, it's it's not like the river rats uh, really do much in terms of like tolls. Okay. These bridges these bridges are pretty much drive right through. Unless okay. unless a boat is going under it, at which case the bridge has to be raised and then lowered again. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go. We can go that way. We if we're going to Central Station. Uh. All right. Cool. So yeah, you guys uh, drive up through here to uh, now. You go from here to here. Now, do you go up to Central Station through this way, through this way, one of these bridges? How do you... Um, what's, what's kind of your approach? I can't see your kings because of how fucking giant this map is. Which oh, way... I just zoom in on spots. Which way is the easiest? Um, I'd say Less the easiest... Trouble. Yeah, probably around this way is going to be your easiest. It Like, you'd have to park somewhere around here, but then you could hoof it around the yeah. area. Well, that's where I'll go. I'm looking for yeah, like looking for the ripples that bugs make when they land on a puddle. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, so you guys uh, get the car, the van parked right there, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, so you guys now. So first of all, as you drive through Waterfront, um, you see this place is even more poor than your dawn because this place doesn't even have mega buildings this place is crumbling infrastructure and like shanty towns and it covers a pretty big swath of land for being this destitute um you see that there are a couple hephaestus trucks that are like building some buildings but even the buildings that are currently in construction are already getting vandalized and you see river rat tags everywhere uh, river rats are very decentralized, so, uh, you see all sorts of different little mini river rat gangs and smuggling operations tagging, like, this is my building, you know, shit like that. But, this is actually yeah. probably guys. where, uh, this is actually probably where Dove is from. From Waterfront? Okay. Like, I imagine, because, uh, he's basically from that, I took, like, the background where it's, like, mega structure war and rat thing but also the whole like living hand to mouth in a fucking ruined cityscape fighting off booster gangers kind of deal so yeah i would say that places that you might be from probably the tracks or shipple would be pretty good that's where you're gonna find a lot of booster gangers because that's a lot of new human territory and those are not dmz's they are active military zones um, Even better, because I think that uh, he is from a combat zone. So yeah, we'll just say the tracks. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, you would, 
You would okay. actually know about. Uh, I? I, I'll, I'll give you some extra insight into new human uh, when applicable, then, because definitely, definitely the tracks is some new human stuff. Oh, yeah, I am so sorry. Uh, Shia, uh, you guys get to the. Uh, we'll, we'll backtrack a little bit. You get to the uh, first floor, right? Devlin, you see Shia there. Um, she's got the uh, classic professional look of, uh, like, like a, a nice pitch black pantsuit and like very nice thick hoop earrings, um, kind of like synth nails that are like very professional but still pretty bright. Uh, hey. And she just looks like put together. Another snappy dresser. Who knew this group could have two? Yeah, she walks right past you, by the way, <laughs> Bambino, and hands Devlin a coffee and is like, all right, so uh, what's the score? Seem to have a uh, person to find, and maybe a little trouble. So uh, you've got my stuff, right? Of course I do. I think I'll just take the architecture tube, and we go to interview this guy. But All stay right. close. All right, can do. And uh, she she packs everything up in her like economy car. Um, you know, and she follows you guys. He'll take the architecture tube and check it and make sure the sword in it's fine. Yep, it is all set up. But, uh... Swing it over his back and get in the uh, car for us to go. Hell yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys get to Central Station. Now, Central Station isn't exactly a neighborhood where people live. I mean... There are homeless people that live there, definitely. That's a facet of everywhere here. But there isn't any, like, residential housing. This is pretty much e exclusively an industrial zone. Um, you see trains coming in and out constantly. These big bullet trains that shoot past you at lightning speed and then stop almost as fast. All of the cars crashing against each other with inertia just sounds like God slamming a car door. Um, but, uh, yeah, you're, I love you're walking. Race. Never heard that right? one before. <laughs> yeah. But That's yeah. how I like shotguns to be described. Amen. It's like God slamming his car door. Amen. But yeah, so you guys are around Central Station. And, um, yeah, uh, D's like, yeah, I don't know exactly where he pitches camp, but, uh, if I had to hazard a guess, it's probably going to be underneath some of these train tracks. Sweet. Yeah. I'm so a nice big old double bag of walk. Someone else want to take a turn? Yeah. Mm. Everyone looks at me. <laughs> now, yeah. I can talk, but dealing with uh, violence is not my specialty. You want yeah. me to go with you? Be your backup? I think we should all go. Uh, I yeah. think we should all go too. If I have to shoot somebody, it might as well be these. Never mind. Ha! Ah. I have to walk behind everybody else. <laughs> Good idea. I mean, the healer, I mean, I don't fight. Y'all yeah. come to me. Now, uh, do you have um, Shia um, guard the cars, or do you have her come with you? Uh, for this, I'll have her guard the cars. Good idea. It's a very dangerous neighborhood. <laughs> if we come back, they're on cinder blocks. Yeah, exactly. And on fire. Yeah. None of Upside you guys down. have purples, so you don't have cars with automated flamethrower rocket launcher setups. Like <laughs> What? I want an automated flamethrower rocket launcher You can. Setup. I can. <laughs> That's true. Can we you can. Yeah, you can you can get that shit. Um, but it's very expensive. Um, okay, new goal. We're gonna turn this campaign into Mad Max in the woods. Yeah, Just, read uh, um, level in me up. nightlife and low life. Read for purples uh, entry. Um, I loved it. I yeah, loved it. yeah. You'll you'll get you'll get the picture of why they are luxury cars, uh, and it's not just because they're very comfortable. Um, Do they also run like this? This universe's version of Delamain? Uh, no, actually, that, that would go through Yakton. Um, they are not Yakton. That'd go through Hermes. Um, 
No, no, Demos. My bad. Demos would do that because they yeah. do all the city uh, logistics. Um, and then Hermes does shipping logistics and Yakton rents out scooters, bikes, and motorcycles. Great, um, great motherfucker. Which seems like a weird niche to include as your mega corporation, but uh, New Amsterdam and current Amsterdam is huge on two-wheel transportation. That's kind of like the main way that a lot of people get through whenever they're just alone. Um, but yeah, anyway, you guys uh, start walking through the Central Station District, uh, checking under areas. Maybe you, uh, maybe you guys see some shit you probably aren't supposed to see with like, um, with like op, um, mowing down some group of people, like, or interrogating some people. You see White Wolf tracking around. Maybe, maybe at some point a White Wolf guy like looks at you guys and kind of eyes you down, but because you're like moving and about two blocks away, like in rough distance, uh, they don't. Oh talk with you dove still gives him like he's staring at us and dove's giving him the stare right back and right as we're like about to leave his field of vision just fuck you yeah he puts him off oh yeah no he fucking pauses for a second and like he does that thing that a lot of white wolf guys do when they get disrespected which is on a daily basis where he like kind of shoulders his rifle a little bit and then and it's not fucking worth it sort of thing yeah, plus um, I waited until, like, the last second is just an extra bit of you'd have to come and get us. Exactly. And he's alone on a patrol right now. He knows better than to fuck with seven guy or, yeah, seven guys, like, while he's alone on a patrol. Like, that's suicide. Um, but yeah, you guys walk along the tracks and finally you find a big old camp. There's an old abandoned warehouse. <clears throat> that is underneath the tracks. Um, looks like it was a warehouse that manufactured kids' clothes, uh, an old mode warehouse. Um, uh, that uh, has like keep the fuck out and like um, like uh, new human get chipped at your own risk and shit like that, like graffiti all over the place. And uh, D's like, yeah. Yeah, those are red eyes guys. Cause you see why they're red eye guys. Uh, the entire center of their face is taken up by one giant glowing red eye. All of them. Subtle. Yeah, right? I was a, a nomad uh -huh. uh, and someone who did a lot of running and drug running and shit. Have mm -hmm. I ever run drugs for them? Not for red eye specifically. You've run new human before. Yeah. Um, and more than likely, New Human have ran with you before as well. They're kind of your catch-all, like, they'll do anything for money, guys. Not my favorite, but easy, so. Yeah, exactly. Generally, they're the worst people to talk to because they're assholes, but, like, they're effective at what they do as long as they don't flip the fuck out in the middle of a job. Yeah, what's the rate of cyberpsychosis on these guys? Pretty high. Pretty fucking high. <laughs> Um, you, you would say, I mean, like when you were growing up in the tracks, uh, you would, um, you would say that like, you'd see at least one in 10 of these guys lose their shit. Yeah. And then, then that'd be a whole fucking deal is, oh, now the werewolves get called in because they're the only people, yep. you know, you need cyber psychos in order to fuck up a cyber psycho. Exactly. And then all yeah. the scabs come out because, oh, look at all that chrome I can yank off these bodies. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, straight up. Um, But yeah, so you, you see this building. You're probably about 20, 30 yards away. So what's the plan? Going gun shooting, offer to buy drugs, get chipped. What, what are we thinking? <laughs> Yeah, are we going to buy chrome? Like, uh, can't just walk in into a gang territory and uh, expect well, them to Well, we could go nice. in. Uh, how much do these guys partake of vice? Like, do they work with vices? Uh, again, they work with just about everybody. Um, vices are kind of careful about working with new human, um, but also new human are like, they run a lot of the very low-end drugs in this town. Vice don't often have 
big drug labs, that's usually left to new humans. So mixed bag. And this was more like, how, can I go in and be like, hey, I could sell you some goyles. Let us talk. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe you could. Um, looking at this, uh, it's, it's a 50-50. Sometimes you'd be surprised that New Human has very little earthly wants. But some of them definitely do have those wants. Excuse me, sir. We have standards here. <laughs> we don't take hookers. That's we why they make the whole the Mr. Stud implant. Sorry, yeah. still waiting on my Mr. Stud to come in. Yeah. Oh, man. We can just but, uh, one for earthly desires. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> can go in and say we're from Vice. I mean, and he like Ooh. points to his jacket and he's like, I got a thing on here. It shows I'm from Showgirls. Any um, radar beams? Radar beams? Mm -hmm. I have a radar detector. Mm -hmm. uh, In my cyber audio suite. Yeah, and yeah. It's 100 no, yards. That's, that's something I hadn't even considered. Uh, they probably don't have radar. I mean, if they were farther out on the edges of town or in a place that was like a war zone, they probably would, but mm -hmm. they don't really need radar. You can tell just from the antennas on top of the building, they definitely got radio like radio and sure. cell signal interceptors, but they right. they probably don't have radar. And the nice thing about radar is you can use it against planes, boats, cars. Right. Anything, everything. Yeah. It really just depends what it's for. I yeah, also... Well, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, well, worst comes to worst, I can always scramble whatever they're trying, if they try and send a distress out. He's like, nah, these guys aren't the kind to send out distress. This is the hornet's nest. Huh, even better. Well, let's go in and see if we can't smoke it before we start kicking. Well, you hey. know the terminology for ice. So I'll pack you. Hell yeah, I do. Been on both sides of it. What's my net access like around here? Um, there's a physical access port uh, nearby. Uh, the rest of them have been trashed, but it looks like one of them has been missed. Seems to be done deliberately. Um, but yeah, you can find one kind of cruddy net terminal. Uh, or not net terminal, but net access point. There's definitely not a terminal there. Um, looks like a maintenance point of some sort. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. You are getting data. I will say you are getting data. Um, they aren't jamming anything. So if you're like, if you want to do like wireless operation, you can definitely do that. Um, but if you're wanting a physical point, there's like one and it's like 20 yards out from like the, the building. Uh, you assume that there's probably more inside, but you don't have eyes on it yet. Yeah, I know. She'd be more wireless than heart point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can definitely do, you, you've got Wi-Fi. They're not jamming shit. Like you actually do a full sweep, right? Um, of just like checking the airwaves. Um, and yeah, you only pick up that they are able to intercept. They don't have anything that can block. But yeah, so how are you guys uh, skinning this cat? I, mean, I could walk up with Dove and the rest, introduce Dove, you know, make that persuasion to get him in. From sure. what we know of the new, the new humans, I mean, we know they, they like cyberware, the more the better, but would they be more, int uh, more um, open to talk to people who have something, at least a little? Or um, you? Potentially. Um, I do they have the cyber are... arm. Yes. And the sand of Istin and some nasal filters. True. Uh, and no. I will say, um, for like what everybody knows about human, new human, uh, they're the last entry on nightlife and lowlife um, for the who's who entries. But to give you a quick rundown, um, new human is kind of uh, an organization that's bonded in pain, so to say. Uh, a lot of people from new human are like very downtrodden people who want to be powerful. You know, um, so like a lot of their a lot of their bit is like we got chipped because like 
we fucking needed, uh, we like needed to get out of our situation, you know? Uh, yeah. So, so, yeah, I'd probably be like, here's my recommendation. We get you inside and we use the, we want to look into getting some drugs, hardware. You want to maybe get a discount if you can offer up some of the girls, boys, whatever they need. Maybe start integrating that stuff like that. Try to get that talk going and then hmm, we got to figure out how we're going to lead that into John. Well, Mr. Silvertongue, I think you're going to be the one who's going to get us in, but uh, can at least make it look more legit. Um, lead that into John. Because that's what we're here for. He actually yeah. looks at uh, Spate and goes, Rippers uh, don't like to work all that often with new human. Maybe we could offer some of his services too. Maybe we could do all this, hope we get as many people distracted, point over to uh, our net runner. They can do their work, see if they can get anything on the... On the play on the side of things that ain't so meaty. So, are we? I, I got more static, Daniel. Um, I don't know. It's it, permanent right now. I gotcha. Uh, so just to get this straight, what are we looking for? Do we expect that we're looking? We're gonna find serenity here, or do we think we're just gonna get some information? I assume Sound. mostly info on Johnny. Well, we could always ask about Serenity, too. Clearly. He's... That would be part of the lead-up with Dove here, introducing the integration of trying to get some drugs, exchange hardware, offer up a Ripper dog, maybe some girls, and then bring up one of the missing girls and maybe her connection to one of their loose ends. Mm. All right, just making sure we're all on the same page here. I'm gonna mm -hmm. pretend that I'm tired and take a nap. How's that sound? That <laughs> sounds like it's normal. When you, uh, that's when you like, you should get really good at wirelessly hacking, so you can just close your eyes, pretend a nap, and like hack their own entire server. Yeah. Never did, never did understand that all that computer shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I in his head that. at that point. Don't worry about you it, have Christopher. 15 unused, unread messages. Unused messages. <laughs> yes, unused, unused messages. messages. He's still in the, like, un, like before unlimited data phase. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you have one gigabyte left. God. <laughs> you need to buy more iCloud storage. Again? I just bought 15 gigs. Fucking hate Did iCloud. Those were all taken Is up there by our new Does update? iCloud exist in this universe? Uh, something similar, probably. All right, it is now iCloud. my mission in life to completely tear it down. Just I love it. it. We're gonna completely I love it. destroy it. Yeah. Um. Australia, yeah. you're gonna help. <laughs> Not a problem. But yeah, okay. So um. Yeah, you guys are, um, so you guys approach, and, uh, who, who leads the approach? I'll, uh, I think I'll we're go going up. to have, uh, yeah. scene, but I'm, like, right there with scene. Yeah, I have, I have Dove with me, because that's what, how I'll be introducing, so. Yeah, and you notice, by the way, um, D hangs back at, like, the very back. And, He's fine. Like, does not seem comfortable. He can actually stay outside if he, if he wants to, because I know they might not get along with him as much as he doesn't want to get along with them. Right, right. <laughs> You're not one of us. He's like, if oh shit pops God. off, I need to be there, but I'm going to keep a low profile. That's fair. Devin yeah. will, uh, will uh, activate the, uh, his tech hair to highlight his cornrows with light uh, and the, the light tattoos that uh, highlight his facial scars. And uh, the little light tattoos at the top edge of his forehead that look like little devil horns. Hell yeah. That's my sick as fuck. Begin to glow. Yeah. My tattoos begin to glow? I, exactly. I love it. No, I love he, it. he definitely is not that person, so stop oh, it. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, true, you, true. You would, I think you would have loved that he called the character in that campaign the Dark Messiah. God. Anyway, <laughs> continuing what we're doing. Um, yeah, you, um, you guys, um, kind of like approach, um, and, uh, yeah, you maybe get like, uh, five yards away or something, and, uh, you, uh, see the guy at the front. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Greetings, I am Seen, and I'm here with Dove from Vice, and I'm, we wish to negotiate uh, a potential, <laughs> sup, potential yeah. deal to maybe acquire some hardware, drugs. We have a Ripper dock if you need assistance as well. Looks you up and down. You a badge? Uh, no. I fucking <laughs> look like I'm a badge. It's like, look back at like, yeah. everyone with random shit all over. Definitely not. Yeah, Dove, uh, you see this guy, he's definitely uh, hyped up on something. Um, he's probably been up for more than 24 hours. Um, and roll uh, human perception, but are they even human? Yes, they are still, technically. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll human perception. Uh, okay, are they, are are they at the point point where we can we can comfortably so say the more machine that now than man? Yes, yeah. they are, I would say. Um yeah, now this dude is definitely tweaking. Um he's like uh he's like uh Oh yeah, so you're looking to get chipped, eh? <laughs> well, maybe not that far. <laughs> at like, least not me. But maybe some of the girls. He's like Oh, shit, or girls? Boys, whatever you guys, girls, boys, in betweens, neither's whatever you're into. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. hold on a second. Fucking, uh, you see, like, his red eye turn blue as a bunch of text scrolls across it. Um, and then turns back red. Yeah. Looks oh, I thought guys. he blew strange for a second. <laughs> oh, no. God, that'd be fun, though. Um,. <laughs> Yeah, no, he stands there, and uh, you see he's got, like, he's got an assault rifle just kind of out, you know. Um, another guy comes up, um, big guy, beefy guy, um, has shoulder-mounted, uh, has, like, shoulder-mounted little rocket shooters uh, that he has accented to show he's not to be fucked with. You know what I mean? Nice. He took that playbook, okay. Yeah. He, uh, walks up and eyes you guys up and down. We're all Papers. there, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's Sorry. Like, Papers. He's like, Papers? Yeah. Okay, out of character, what would he be looking for exactly? You have no idea. Oh. Like, he just asked you for papers, and you're just like, what the fuck? Hmm. What kind of papers are you looking for? Goes... Oh, you know, death warrants and such. Kind of death. a big grin comes across his face. He goes, let me guess. You happen to be the vice. Not hard to pick out. Who's the corpo nut? Points at, uh, points at Devlin, noticing his suit. Business oh, yeah, associate. Suits. He's yeah. got me my capital. Investor. Nice. Looks at the, uh, looks at Astray. And then looks at Scene. Couple people who know how to get certain things where they need to go. Looks at Spate. Ripper. <laughs> and then looks at Bambino and goes, Hmm. We'll let the Scarlatti's off the leash. That's what you, you know what, you're not Leitner. Retired Scarlatti. Hmm. Kind of. Is he here for emotional support and baseball trivia? <laughs> he chuckles, looks at uh, <laughs> looks at D and goes, "Sup?" D's like, "Sup, Chum." Aw, friends. Nah. Uh, huh? Aw, <laughs> friends. Oh, it's not friends. They're definitely no. sizing each other up. This is like yeah, no. this, is, this is two angry dogs that are just far enough away from each other that they can't do anything yet, 
but they're seeing if they can do something. You know what I mean? Looks some up. Friends. Looks Maybe everyone up. Like, and... go ahead. Clamps his fingers and points towards uh, the guy with the fucking rockets on his shoulders. Is like, red eye. I'm guessing. Reputation precedes you. <laughs> I'll have to run that one back to him. No red eye. No, I'm Octane. Red eye's inside. Come on. He kind of cocks his head and. They raise up the gate, or they open the gate that you guys walked up to. The dude who was at the gate at first, kind of like, he's, as you walk by him, you notice, probably this whole time, he's been rocking back and forth on his feet and, like, grinding his teeth. Oh, yeah, he's on something wild. Oh, yeah. You have no idea what the fuck he's seeing right now in that weird gourd of his. <laughs> he snorted too much flex glue. All he can see is Martians. <laughs> is, can flex glue be a thing in this universe? Because I, I really just want to hear, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, no, actually, oh, you know what? Man, I'm going to make damage. something similar. I was going to make the drug table for my custom drugs uh, after this session. Something similar to that is going to be there. Um, <laughs> All he can see is Martians. <laughs> but yeah, you're a uh, lead in. Um, and as you enter, you see a couple things. You see a couple guys who are just beating the ever-loving shit out of each other. Like, two, two red eyes, right? Um, who are just kicking each other's ass. Um, they don't do that with the girls, do they? He, uh, smirks with, like, a very, like, wolfish grin and goes, I don't know how much we gotta pay for it. Broken and merchandise doesn't get used again. Bad look. He shrugs and goes, We got money to replace faceplates. Keeps walking. Um, yeah, you also notice there is a Chutu distillery. Um, basically, so something about Make a note Chutu, of that, because that'll yeah. go boom. So something about Chutu. Um, you can, so first of all, if you don't know what Chutu is, for the benefit of the audience and any players, Chutu is, um, a, like, ethyl alcohol, uh, fuel that's pretty much replaced petroleum, because petroleum's, like, gone. Um, all of it has been gone out of the ground. Um, but the other thing is, because it's an alcohol-based, uh, fuel, it's kind of like boat fuel. If you water it down, and especially if you, um... God damn it. That's fucking hilarious. And I do that with my sword. It's, I saw the scab in half. Yeah, for the sure. power of flex tape. But yeah, no. Uh, so Chew 2, you can properly distill it into basically moonshine. And I'm talking white lightning level moonshine of you drink too much and you go blind. Uh, <laughs> they apparently have a Chew 2 still here. Um, that they're uh, making some fuel into... Uh, Making some fuel into uh, into something drinkable, potable. Looks like they've got some other apparatus there for making drugs. Maybe something like glitter. Um, maybe sludge. Can't really tell from here. But yeah, you approach this uh, factory. Strikes you as you walk up this path that's full of broken concrete. You see bits of destroyed children's clothing on the ground from when this used to be a mowed clothing factory. Um... And, uh, yeah, they open the door, uh, blasting, blasting death metal. Um, in fact, Dove specifically, and anybody who listens to metal, give me a... One second here. Give me a... I love you're making us roll for this. Huh? I love you're making us roll for this. It's great. Yeah. I would say give me a... So, Dove, give me a local expert your home. Everyone else, give me just an intelligence check. Okay. If you listen to metal, that is. I'm gonna say, Bim, yeah. I used to be with it, and then they changed what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna roll um, local expert type here, because there's no bonuses, so it would just be intelligence. Yep. Yeah, that works for me. Nice! Dove? I'm seeing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't Definitely. think you can give zero, can you? You can, because you get when you roll not one, you roll another dice to subtract. That's right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, why do you think I really want fumble recovery? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Devlin, you uh, you have no idea. This just sounds like TV static. Uh, <laughs> Dove and Estray, you've heard this. You've heard this artist before. You don't remember exactly who it is, but it's like very familiar. Dove, you remember from your childhood. Dean, you know who this is. This is Overclock Kin. Yeah. I've Overclock... run with these guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Overclock Kin is a rocker boy who basically is the unofficial head or cultural head of uh of uh new human uh this song happens to be chrome and blood uh which is a song that happens to be about ripping out someone's implants so you can have them for yourself um uh, it is what is considered in this community a banger but uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, yeah, I'd probably um, mention. I'm like, huh. chrome and blood. Nice choice. Yeah, he looks at and goes, huh. Man of culture. Kind of gives another one of those wolfish grins. And uh, you guys walk in. He's like, yo, red eye. Or yo, red eye. And uh, this dude who is sitting on a throne of junk, right? <laughs> There is several IVs beside him, a heavily chromed out girl at his side, uh, and like, just like uh, this, this throne is made of like an industrial packing machine. Um, looks at you guys, and you know how all these guys have one big center eye. Uh, this man's entire uh, like entire face from the lip up wrapping back around to about the halfway point on his skull is all one big red eye um but yeah he uh looks and he goes uh he looks and he goes what do you want and he goes got some uh Got some gonks walk in, or got some gonks walk in here looking for uh, services and offer for services. Kind of gets up off of his thing, gets off of his throne, and kind of walks. He's got a, uh, he's got um, bare chested, big fucking metal core in his chest, uh, leather straps that are holding a holster on one side for just a big fuck off handgun. Um, Mantis Blades very clearly modded on him, not hidden at all. Uh, and he doesn't look, he doesn't look massive. Like, he's not like the Wall of Flesh and Chrome. He's more of the, like, ninja kind of look, you know? Like, this dude looks fucking, like, he's fast and he's mean. Um, but he, uh, drops off of this catwalk that, uh, his throne is on. Uh, lands in front of you guys, goes... What, uh, what, uh, can I do for you? Look to scene. Ah, God, phrasing things is hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here looking oh, Jesus. for a potential <laughs> trade of services, as he said. You know, we have a Ripper Doc, a Vice, <clears throat> and, well, I suppose looking to, uh, Estrella. Uh, what are they called? Net runners in here? Yeah. Yes. A net runner, if you even have need for one of those. <laughs> and, yeah. Well, we were hoping uh, get some wares, drugs, information. You know. Because uh, well, welcome to my one-stop shop for everything that you might need. Kind of opens his arms grandiosely and goes, this yeah. is my kingdom. You are but welcome. I, I actually like give him a bow and I'm like, I appreciate your um, what's the consideration, I guess? Yeah. yeah. I um, appreciate your consideration. Yeah, Octane chuckles at that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys got manners. I recognize the song immediately. Duh. Yeah, he's like, yeah. eh. I like you. Well, I've run with many of you before. Handy in a battle. Getting out yeah. of tight situations. Nods. Goes. Ah. 
is that little D I see. Ooh. And uh, D just looks at him. You can't see a facial expression, really, because the top half of his face is a little scooped out. But you can just hear in his voice, he's just red. He goes, huh, would have thought you'd be walking into my place. Hey, D, got a question for you. How's, uh, how's Forge doing? He goes, uh, I don't, uh, don't really talk to him. How about, uh, or oh, what was his name? Uh, Luden? Your uncle, he's still running biz down there? Hmm. Suppose. You know. Speaking ah. of biz. He <laughs> goes, ah, of course. Where are my manners? <sighs> exactly what do you want from me? And what do you got for me? Got plenty of things you might be interested in. Well, at least... Yeah. Jerks a thumb back out towards the front door. Your tweaker out there seemed like he was real interested in girls. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> hey, he's a charm, ain't he? He's sure something. And he goes, Ah! Oh, I hear the offer, but I don't hear the request. Well, let me get to that. You got people out there want girls, maybe boys. Oh, do the whole spiel. Boys, girls, in-betweens, nighters, whatever you want. We got it. Right. And jerk a thumb towards Devlin. I got money to back it up. These aren't just going to be some cheap skin hose you get off the sides. Devlin gives he, a uh, nod. Yeah, he uh, says, Hmm... I think we're, uh, covered on the girls and boys. What else you got for me? Are you, though? Because no one. Mm hmm One One ain't here no more. At least I don't see her. Mm. That smile Oof. turns into kind of more of a flat face and goes, Hmm. How you figure? Where it gets around when someone goes missing. That and some tumor. Yeah. Back up club fuck kept going around. About a whole bunch of shit concerning uh, someone named Serenity and you. Ah, mm. uh, yes. John was his name. You went to mm. Fucking chromed out. Tweaked out. Even a guy with gorilla arms couldn't pull him off the wall. And you should yeah. have heard him there. Serenity, Serenity. Yeah, what a fucking pussy and like oh laughter yeah literally everyone calls john a yeah. pussy unfortunately um yeah no and he uh he goes ah i know about the uh, john lee boy he's uh yeah he's a good time i assume you're part of the reason he's in this uh precarious predicament Drugs. Maybe. Maybe my boys had a little fun with him. Seems like a waste of good chrome on some chumba you don't know. Huh. You think that we chrome out a homeless guy like that? Nah. <laughs> nah, he came prepackaged. Mm. Some Seuss mad like him came in that borged up. Hmm. Yeah. Begs Fuck the knows what he did. <laughs> What uh? Oh. What did you say? I said begs the question where he got it. Yeah. Oh, probably ex-military. Yeah, he goes. You know, you ask me. He kind of like leans in, Dove, uncomfortably close, like right by your face. You can like uh, dark still, like even giving him that look. That's kind of like that flat, half-lidded eye look of you're in my spit, you're in my way, sir. Yeah, he goes. Word on the street is, he might be the cyber slasher. And he uh, pulls back with just a huge, devilish grin on his face. If you could see his eyes, they would be burning. That's the case. 
He folds his arms. Maybe I should be taking my girls elsewhere. Hey. Hey. Take your girls wherever you want to take them, Choom. Ain't no skin off my chrome. Yeah, it's just... You know, on the way here, we stopped by that bridge where uh, she went missing. Hmm. A whole bunch of bodies down there. AVs were trying to pull them up. They were getting... That looked kind of like a... You ever seen real cheap spaghetti sauce? Yeah. And everyone make me... Everyone who would like to, make me a human perception. Okay. Oh no, it's so low. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I'd be like, uh, oop, 20. Oh, that yeah. Rolling the 10. I'm an old man. I Here's the thing. Good. I've only got a six in human perception. I'm not good at this. Right, what right. What is my total? Mine's Nine. 13. I'm almost 13 down the board on most uh, uh, social skills. Yeah, yeah, my best is I've got three 13s. <laughs> wow. Nice. Evasion, oh, yeah, we never got that melee. figured out for Spate's character sheet. His human perception is all borked. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, it's got the... He could what? put the points into, uh, well... Uh, do you, you have need a zero somewhere? You need a zero uh, it's somewhere? It's totally because... just empty. It doesn't look like yeah, you need it's a zero bug. somewhere. Yeah, it's a bug. But, uh, well, I was going to hey, say, yeah. he needs a zero I, in a spreadsheet somewhere because it's got a plus plus in the formula. That's, that's what I was thinking. We'll we'll get it figured out after yeah. the session. Real quick, Fico, do you have anything in the conversation? Like, do you have any points in conversation? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was like, if if they're equal to, you could put your you could roll that instead. But if they're not equal to what you have in human perception, never mind. Yeah, I mean, honestly. Um, yeah, you're right. Both of those are, yeah, you have points in human, in conversation, and it's the same damn thing. Uh, oh. same issue. Oh, well, we'll, yeah. we'll figure it out after the session. Um, sorry about that. But yeah, um, Bambino, oh yeah, you can tell this guy with as little facial expression as you can see, Oops. you can read his body language. Uh... He is loving this. Like, he's getting kicks off of this shit. Like, this whole conversation. And, like, especially getting told about what's going on at the bridge. Oh, he's... He's fucking lapping it up. Mm -hmm. So, was this turn you won, big guy? He goes... Turn me on? Nah. Do it for you? He's like, he's like, nah, nothing turning me on about it. Just, you know, I'm just imagining the chaos of White Wolf with their heads up their asses. That is true, having to deal with those nine streets. Hmm. So, did you just pick a random chum off the stream, off the street to go cyber psycho, or you had someone special in mind? You're enjoying yeah. your handiwork. That much is uh, for sure. Is there such a thing as preparing actions in this system? <laughs> yeah. Because um, if anyone looks like they're about to draw, I'm going to use my sand of Eston. Her, a perception check would be excellent. Some kind of <laughs> spotting and perception. Because um, cause shit's about to get a little wacky if it keeps going the way it's going. Yeah, I'm going to probably step forward and be like, now, hold on. We came here for a deal. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, and uh, oh. scene, scene and Dove, you're looking around the room. Devlin as well. Uh, <laughs> you all have seen ops go tits up in one way yeah. or another. This op looks like he's about to go tits up. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I, I could care less who's done what to who. Right now, what I am curious about is how much could we get drugs, tech, for a couple hours of our Ripper Docs time. Those... If you don't want the girls, that is. Yeah. Yeah, smiles and looks around the room, very obviously, making it so you guys look. And uh, those of you that didn't make perception, yeah, you see his guys have stopped doing what they're doing, and most of them have weapons that are not pointed, mm -hmm. but are most certainly readied. And he kind of looks around and goes, 
Well, you know, I think we could use some Ripper Dock services. But, uh, I don't think that we need to pay for them. Special discount. How long... Be... If I if I did use my sand vestin, how long would a minute be? A or are minute? we going to count it, count it like uh, well, that's minutes worth rounds. of us talking? Yeah, a minute is oh. 20 rounds. Well, I'm because... We would have yeah. to start combat within 20 minutes for me to get the plus three to initiative. Mmm, mmm, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, w it would start within 20 minutes, for sure. Or 20 rounds. Can, 20 rounds. Within, you know, we, we would just call it, like, you activate it whenever yeah. initiative starts, you know? So maybe, like, yeah, he kind of reaches up and... Because he's trying to mask it. Yeah. Because these people know Chrome. Oh, yeah. So he's trying to mask because he pops his neck that, like, eyes go a bit wide for a moment. Because I, I imagine the Sand of Eston works by basically being, like, an adrenal booster. Yeah, yeah. That's a good way to put it. So um, trying to hide up that he's kind of a... It's a little loose and wired up now. Yeah. And, um... Yeah... So, how do do any of you respond to his uh, thinly veiled extortion? Well, you guys mm. cut the you guys cut Bambino, Bambino off. He's gonna let you handle this. So yeah, no, that was only because that seemed to be about to set him off, and I was like, oh, let's just kind of see if I can. <laughs> well, I mean, is it... let's is put it, it this way: our job is to find for... Serenity. Yeah. All right. Uh, he right either now, has Serenity or here. Serenity's already dead. And Does anybody want to give me some conversationalist That's jokes? I was going to say, I can make conversation. That's what I was going to try to like talk our way out of here. Yeah, and and uh, my bad, Gunner. I didn't mean to cut you off. That just blasted no, through my no, head. No, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so how do you how do you do this here, scene? Okay, well, what is the limit? Like, am I allowed to get us out of here without having us pretty much have our cyber docs sit there for several hours working for them? You got a good enough role that if you do a good job in the conversation, yes. But it's going to be part role play, part stat. I'm so bad at words. <laughs> I believe in you. Um. Well, it, would that be considered also like a bluff check? I don't uh, see bluff. We could so bluff would be ba, 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 ba. persuasion. Okay. Probably. Yeah. I and persuasion. second of all, do they have any kind of scanners like that scan my bag at all? Uh, they did not scan your bag. No. Okay. What's Let's in see. your bag, by the way, for my benefit? Uh, in my bag is about 80 arrows and a crossbow and a bunch of clothing. Um, but they don't know that. Yeah. Maybe not 80 yeah. arrows. There's some arrows. Right, some, right. But uh, I'm just trying right. to think if I should bluff that the, it's full of explosives or not. <laughs> um, if, if I need to. Um... Because the conversation rolls good, but I'm like so bad at like at dealing with angry people. Um, You're better than you think. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, well, I'm better at dealing with people that are calling me a fucking piece of little shit on the phone, you know? Um, yeah. And I'm just like, now oh, look, we came here for a trade. Obviously, that's not happening. Um, <laughs> but. I don't think it's quite right that we just, you know, give up the poor Ripper Doc's time without something in return. Giving a free, just not going to cut it. Uh, especially since, you know, my clan might be a little confused when I don't return home mm. the next day. Mmm, that's good. Um, goes, uh, yeah, you did say that you were a chipper. Kind of wraps his uh, mouth and 
And I'll add on, like, and look, I run with you guys all the time. I know you're respectable. Dependable. Yeah. May, it might be the better word. Yeah. I don't want to cause any trouble between us. But I also don't yeah. want to give up our Ripper talk. Because, uh... You know what? Just for you... I'm gonna give you a special deal. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, let you walk out of here. And uh, <laughs> he looks specifically at you, scene. Ah. Uh, he points at you. I kind of need my whole team for what's to come. Mm. Uh, and before we continue, you really should start checking people's bags before you let someone bring a large duffel bag right to the center of your building. He looks at the bag and goes, huh. It looks heavy. There's, there's stuff in there. Yeah, he's like, huh. What do you got in there? Got some, uh, some sort of nuke in there or something? Definitely not that, that caliber. <laughs> but it would be enough to take out about 70 people. All right, give me that persuasion roll. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. He's like, huh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> and it's like, he's like, one arrow per person. <laughs> yeah, he's like, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you're rich. Fuck it. You know what? I like balls on a guy. And then he kind of kind of looks around and goes, "You got balls." Yeah, you and your little buddies can walk on out of here. But uh, we see you again. Not going to get that bag in here. Understandable. If we ever have to come back here for any reason, we won't need the bag. <laughs> in my head, shut up, shut up, oh god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me, in, out of character, panicking. In character, probably a lot more better about this. Yeah. Hey, he's already said we're going to walk out, so this yeah. is more just a, yeah. eh, you ain't shit. Yeah, yeah. This animal ain't sh Actually, I better not do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, um... It's probably the adrenaline talking, we'll say that. Yeah, he looks, he looks at, uh, he looks at D. Um, he goes, <laughs> Later, little D. Tell your uncle I said, hey, here's a good guy. And, uh, just like, fucking, like, D just looks at him with hate. This is probably where D, or not D, Dove, like, has turned around to start leaving, like, pats D on the shoulder and says, just loud enough that he could potentially be heard, but it would be kind of a, did he actually say that? I can't yeah. say for certain. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. I think between the two of you, he's the little D, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, and Deltric turns around and follows. So y'all ex-filling out of this building? I get him a bow, though. <laughs> I actually, I still here. give him a little bow. Like, mm -hmm. I appreciate your time and leave. Okay. Yeah. I flick a spent cigarette into the corner. <laughs> yeah. Fucking you guys uh you guys head out. You know the, the guy whole who's time... at the Oh, go ahead. Oh go ahead. No, go ahead. I was like the whole time we were deciding to go in there, in my head I was like, This is a terrible idea. We shouldn't do this. I don't think this is the right idea. We're gonna die. We shouldn't do this. I was like, nah, we're doing it. Yeah. There was a uh... part of me that was like, Combat? Let's go, I'm ready to kill oh, yeah, somebody. Totally. Oh, don't mm -hmm. worry. But you guys will get your combat. Um, Let me hit him, coach. Yeah. So, um. But one, wait, let's wait an hour for my, uh, same <laughs> to come off cooldown. So, you guys, um, are like walking out, and, um, like, as you walk out, you see the guy at the gate is like, <laughs> come back soon, you hear? And then you hear. Uh, you hear what sounds like a really loud fucking pop. And the building behind you just, like, 
absolutely you cannot see in the windows all of a sudden like the lights like are like covered you hear what the fuck um and uh the door uh, kicks open you see one of them covered in fire retardant foam brian yeah <laughs> damn it brian see, i've been wondering see, why he's brian. so quiet <laughs> yeah you see, he's laughing yeah you see damn one it. of them covered in foam and you hear, get those motherfuckers! And hey. we are going to cut uh, here. Hey, 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 hey. I'm the one who gets to do the fire retardant shit. No. I fucking... Uh, I Twinkle's I not very Brian happy was... right now. Uh, it's my fucking Brian... job. <laughs> right? Uh, I saw ahead. what Brian was doing and was like, oh no, you guys will get your combat. Don't worry. I know this Brian. Is... Hey, thank you, you because out. at least it's we're outside where they come to us and not surrounded yeah. by them with this guns. Is, That's what it was like. Yeah. Are we gonna are, are we gonna battle brothers this where we're like, all right, get into the forest and hope that we can hold this fucking choke point. They have to come so, one at a time and we'll kick their dicks. I, uh, I, so oh. fun fact, I um, this was probably good that you walked out of the building because today I learned about suppressive fire, mm -hmm. and uh, oh. I have had ideas. So, uh, probably good that you're not in the building right now. Yeah, hold so... the door. <laughs> hold door. That's my job. So, um, yeah. I, I'm just very glad. Basically, he, he confirmed everything I asked him. You know, oh, yeah. Without saying a word. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. you created this creep. And you set him mm -hmm. loose. Yeah. Lovely. Mm -hmm. That's why I also, I was like, we should get out of here. We got inf enough information. Probably doesn't know much about Serenity, but he's definitely making these cyber psychos and enjoying the fucking pleasure out of it. Oh, yeah. Just, let's call the popo. Yeah. So. so. Well, we won't have to. So. We are um, the cops. Here's, here's, uh, here's where we do our sign offs. Let's start with, uh, let's start with, uh, the man who, uh, caused all of this, uh, Brian. Mm -mm. Hi. <laughs> uh, tonight I played a stray, the netrunner of this lovely group, and decided that he needed to be taught a lesson. So off went all the fire suppression system <laughs> inside the building. It is wet, slippery, and foamy. Mm -hmm. New human gone wild. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Hopefully they have to make checks to be running out at us, and they're just going to be like, Whoa! Oh, that floor is so slippery now. You know what I would love? I don't know Damn if it. there's difficult terrain rules, but if there are, they're going to be facing them. And if there are there not, are. I'm going to home hack. So, okay, there yeah, they're going to be facing difficult terrain then. You know, I can slip and slide in there. The only thing I could think of that would make this better is if magic were a thing, so we could just set up black thorns right outside of the entrance. Oh, Slide right. straight into the meat grinder. Right? You mean like how somebody, I won't say who, was what, looked at all these windows that the monsters were coming, the 1 HP monsters were coming through and said, tentacles. Pretty much, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, and the thing that really was the problem was it was like, Oh, they just take damage. They there's no way around it. They just take damage. But the yeah. problem is that even that small amount of damage is more than enough to kill these guys. All mm -hmm. right. <laughs> One hit point. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. So um, let's say Thursday, Sunday. You can find me playing in Cosmos. Two characters. Is there either Vraklana the Blue Cobalt Witch or Sarsa the Fletching Shadow Dancing Monk on Monday in Fire Strike I play Ryan O'Dragon the man who really wants to take over Whistle Fizz's job but for some reason they're working together this time it's like you're not arguing it's weird and on Tuesdays you can find me running the Beyond, a game set in the Numer Numenera system that is one billion years into the Earth's future. It's going to be kind of interesting. It's going to be fun, especially if they don't fight any more of those razor paper dragons. You have to you have to see the episode to understand about that one. Anyway, that's it for me. 
Excellent. Next, let's go on to Spate. Forgot my notebook because apparently I had mental issues. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, apparently this time I didn't do much, but I have a feeling I'm gonna do a lot next time because I heal people. Oh yeah. So yeah. Okay. So. It's still for a couple more weeks. We still got Friday night at Battle of the Menagerie late at night where I play Captain Chess. Which I'm not the greatest captain. I'm learning. I kind of just jumped into it and be like, all right, let's figure out what to do. But hey, that's fine. Great. Then every other Saturday, which will not be this Saturday, but the following Saturday, we got Bitter Ends, the Waterworld Apocalypse thing where I play Castiel, who sucks at driving a boat, but now we're wandering around in some under ground craziness i don't know i don't know he's also a healer i have this thing for healers apparently oh well sunday we got cosmos where fagara last time we played him he was just uh listening to stories but we got anduin who is in somebody's brain but can't do anything because we might completely mess up his men mental thing so yay Monday, we got Firestrike, where I play Xander, who now is still on the research of this weird multiverse changey thingy. So, do research. Then the Beyond on Tuesday, I play No Name. That's a fun system. I almost, I got my hand cut off, so, yay. Uh, then Wednesday, I play Night and Hinch to Minch, where, where, deep underwater in a giant dome thing and going to meetings yeah and that's it nice all right next let's go to let's do daniel next what up what up what up um yeah you caught me here playing scene uh scene the one who can <laughs> change to spit any scene it's the whole thing. Yeah. I have everything in social skills. Like it's all there, y'all. Like driving, piloting, repairing the, my vehicles, and social skills. Like that's pretty much everything I got. And perception. Um. <laughs> beyond that, you can catch me in pretty much every single game that we run, except every other Thursday. Um. So I'm I'm not going to bore people with the details in the sake of time. I'll just say, come watch us all every day, all day, any time of the day, or you know, check our Twitter for the full schedule. Yeah. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Nice. Uh, next, let's go to Gunner. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cyrus Smith, and today you caught me playing the old grandpa that just wanted, that looked at the the sad, broken young man and said, "Yep, yeah, doesn't get any better, kid." <laughs> True. <laughs> but getting off the sludge might help, and finding some real friends. But you're not, you, <laughs> you're not ready for that conversation yet. So just find me when you are. <laughs> Um, what he really needs to do is move the fuck out of New Amsterdam. <laughs> I mean, well, uh, hey, even even the fixer Bambino is, uh, we're working on it, okay? It's easier said than done. Right? He could London, England. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I'm from New Amsterdam. Of course, New Amsterdam. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have these people that that live in the trees outside of New Amsterdam, and they have shotguns. That's what makes that hard. Anyways, you can also find me on... Oh, hold on one sec. Okay. You can also find me on... Oh, gosh. Today is Thursday. You can find me tomorrow playing Indiana, who's pissed everybody off and pissed on everybody, it seems, at this point. Um... Yeah. Figuratively, thank you. Um, you can also find me on this Sunday, I promise, running running Tales from the Cosmos, because who is it knocking on that door? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Because, <laughs> well, your guess is as good as mine, guys. <laughs> who was knocking on that door? God. 
Tegrin's pizza delivery service. Ah, I fucking wish, dude. That would make everything easy. Um, you can also find me on uh, Mondays playing Twinkle Bailey and Wednesdays uh, playing Acer or Razor. Nobody likes... Well, okay. Nobody likes Razor and people are starting to not like Acer either, so... Oh well, I guess I'll just go to my corner, and that's my huh. that's me. All right, uh, next computer king. <laughs> I'm the computer king, the super villain of streaming, and you may know me from such games as Cosmos, where I play three different characters of different races and different uh, abilities. Uh, or perhaps on Fridays in Yaksha's, where I play a guy who rides a mech that's basically a big money monkey. Uh, or you may know me from Wednesdays, when I run from hench to mench, trying to make some supervillains out of, uh, some... Well, they're, they're no longer subpar henchmen. They're, pr they're pretty good. Well, pretty evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's all I want to talk about for now, because... Uh, Today I was playing Devlin. He didn't say a lot, but he looked cool. Very he cool. Did. He did look very cool. You have reappropriated my tattoos begin to glow, and I respect it, sir. Yes. Very <laughs> fun. Um, it is much better. <laughs> yeah. Um, excellent. And that leaves, last but not least, least but not last, James. Dumbass. Wow. Just like my own inner thoughts. <laughs> Hi, old friend Dolos. My name is James. You caught me here today playing Dove, the former Vice turned solo who, uh. I wanted combat. And, and as soon as he said, there's a loud pop, and I see Brian over there just chortling away, kind of yeah, giggling like a school guy. I'm like, fuck, we're dead. <laughs> oh, so uh, we'll see how short of a, com of a uh, campaign this is going to be. To be fair, I thought it was going to be an explosion. I was going to be like, it wasn't me. Yeah. No, I knew exactly who it was. But, uh... Yeah, you can also find me here on Fridays where I run Yaksha's. Where it hates each other. This party's fucked. But in I all the fun ways. Everyone. Same. I'll make and, you uh, hate now me. They're... And don't you forget it. Sorry. No. <laughs> If they don't hate each other, they think they hate each other, which makes it even more fun. Yeah. Uh, come for the, all the drama, stay for the fact they might be working with the with the BBEG or a BBEG or a small B. This SBEG. We'll have to wait and small see. Small bad evil guy. <laughs> um, or you can find me here on Sundays, where I am also in Tales from the Cosmos, where I, <clears throat> I've pulled out Pathfinder book. Let's count how many fucking characters I have. One, two, three, four. Uh, have I gotten yet yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven so far? There's more on the way. I like it. Good so come Lord. and see which of these, uh, this fucking fire team I have, all of my own, I'm going to be playing that day. It's all your fault, Gunner. You you made your own, you made your own hell, now live in it. <laughs> yeah. Because me and Gary are taking full advantage of this, but at least I make more than sorcerers. Take that, Gary. Ha! Got him. And that's all you can find me for right now. All right, excellent. And that leaves me. So, hello everybody, my name is Mike, also known as Win5, get one free, and today you have caught me running New Amsterdam, my cyberpunk setting, where they uh, went, talked to a drug addict, and then talked to a bunch more drug addicts. I don't know if you're sensing a pattern, but New Amsterdam is not a good place to live. Um, they also happened to see a bloody mess of awful shit happening, um, and uh, now they're about to be in a firefight with some dudes who basically don't have faces. God, I fucking love cyberpunk! Anyway, you can also catch me every other Thursday where I'm running Project Severovo, the game where everyone's having a bad time always. Um, and that's all I'll say about that. Um, catch me, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, 
uh, for the bitter ends where I'm playing Greasy, host of KRUST 6.66 The Crust, the hottest shit that floated to the top of the bathtub. Where um, currently we're working with uh, with uh, Jack, the uh, guy who's a bit of a jack off. Um, and I'm kind of surprised. Um, but uh, yeah, no. Um, Catch uh, catch me on Mondays in Firestrike, where I am playing ex Paralictor Burn Ward, now the head knight of Patella, cop, um, who is currently organizing his guys to deal with the fact that a ship just fucking disappeared. So, you know, stuff. If you are currently watching us on Twitch, thank you so much. We love you. We love you a lot. You're fantastic, and you make everything that we do worth it. But you could also be brainwashed and watch us on YouTube again and again and again and again and again and again and again on youtube.com forward slash Paradise Theater. If you're currently watching on YouTube, we love you. Thank you. We love you a lot. You make everything that we do worth it. But you could also be watching this madness live and interacting with us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash pair underscore O underscore dice underscore theater. And if you like the hot, fast, and sexy world of scheduling, you also happen to be a big old fan of community interaction. And you like hot memes. Catch us at Care Theater on Twitter. My name is Mike, also known as Win5. Get one free. Catch my music at Michael Burley on SoundCloud. And that is us. Let's everybody get an RIP. Uh, RIP human dignity again? I don't know. No one's died yet. R.I.P. those two fucking cor- or those corpses in the canal. I don't know what we'd R.I.P. R.I.P. canal bodies? Yes. Yeah. Oh, R.I.P. This world is so fucked. So fucked. <laughs> <laughs>